And Liverpool look really up for the challenge. Not been quite themselves this season. They are in change kit, all in white pretty much with black trim, sort of grey colour woven into that white strip. And the team news nice and simple. I'll give you the full lineups in a second. But basically one change for Arsenal. No Zinchenko, not even on the bench. Tommy Yasu comes in to start at left back. That is a first Premier League start of the season for him. And Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp names the same team that beat Rangers 2-0 on Wednesday night. So that is Jordan Henderson and Thiago in central midfield. And a sort of attacking front four of Salah, Jota, Diaz and Nunez. That, that is positive, Glenn, isn't it? That, that is, considering the form Arsenal are in and how strong they are in midfield, that's a positive lineup. Yes, I must admit when I saw the team sheet, that, that is a, that's a, an 11 players that excite me hugely. They, they are coming to Arsenal today, they're coming to win, they're coming to stamp their authority on this game and I just look forward to Arsenal's reaction. Right, let's see what they've got. Gabriel Jesus immediately putting Virgil van Dijk under pressure. He didn't really enjoy the ball. Back to him. Knocked off his feet, kept the ball for Liverpool, comes back to his goalkeeper, Alisson. So the outfield players all in white, Alisson the goalkeeper uh, all in black. The players taking the knee ahead of kickoff on that first whistle you heard, as they've been doing uh, in the Premier League this weekend, uh, continuing the message that there is no room for racism. Shimikas controls the ball inside the Liverpool half, wide on the left. Back to Alisson again, goes for the Luka Modric outside of the right foot spinning pass forward. Saliba... Gets a half clearance on it. Luis Diaz was almost away there. And then Arsenal win it back. It was Saliba and Pacayo Saka has a first chance to run at the Liverpool back line this afternoon. Good ball to Erdegaard. Erdegaard's got a runner on the left. Martinelli sticks it away with his right foot. In the first minute of the game, Arsenal lead against Liverpool. What a start for Mikel Arteta's team. On fire this season. On fire this afternoon. Arsenal won Liverpool nil. They were like a knife through butter there. It was a brilliant move from Arsenal. They played from the right-hand side, through Odegaard to the left-hand side. The on-running Martinelli opens his right foot out and just tucks it into the back of the net. And the crowd have gone absolutely wild. And I'm looking here, and this Liverpool team seem shell-shocked. Goal will be checked by VAR for offside, of course. Jurgen Klopp, I saw, just querying it with the fourth official, Andy Madley. And actually, Andy Madley has just, just done that with his thumb and his forefinger to say it was that close. So he's probably got word from the VAR, Darren England, for this game this afternoon. Arsenal players, having completed the celebrations, are on their way back to the halfway line. We still need to get this goal confirmed and we are now seeing the images on the screen Glenn Murray's having a look at them at the moment yes it's really really tight and again it's come down that right hand side of Liverpool that Trent Alexander-Arnold side it's come into question a lot and another goal on his side and we see it here and he's onside because I think it's Virgil van Dijk that's tracked Saka back this goal's going to be given Ali yeah, Saka got word early on, the fans know it now, Michael Oliver blows the whistle, Arsenal fans celebrated it once, they can celebrate it again, what a great start for them, leading Liverpool by a goal to nil, ball lobbed forward to the halfway line, Jordan Henderson plays a pass forward, volleyed away by Gabriel, 1-0 to the Arsenal, ringing round the Emirates Stadium, long way to go. Yes, a, a very, very long way. And now this is a test of this Arsenal side, this inexperienced Arsenal side. Can they manage this game? It's in their hands now. They just need to do the right things. On the front foot again, Arsenal. Tommy Yasu gets a first touch of the afternoon, plays the ball out to the goal scorer, Martinelli. Cuts in from the left-hand side, turns away from Mo Salah. Plays the ball back out to the left. Granite Xhaka is over there hugging the touchline. Plays a rather different role in this Arsenal team now. Still ostensibly in central midfield, but given so much more licence uh, in the formation. Warm welcome to our listeners on the World Service around the globe this afternoon. Goal has gone in early. Gabriel Martinelli. I think it's going to go down. I'm not sure that's a first-minute goal or a second-minute goal. I had a look at the stopwatch, and it might, my stopwatch just ticked over to 60 seconds played as the ball hit the back of the net. So it doesn't matter. Arsenal have an early lead, and we've not been able to give you the two-team lineups as yet. Let's do that now. Arsenal have Aaron Ramsdale in goal, Ben White, William Saliba, Gabriel, and Takahiro Tomiyasu at left-back this afternoon. Partey and Xhaka in central midfield. Bakayo Saka on the right. Martinelli, the goal scorer on the left. And Martin Erdegaard uh, playing behind 
Gabriel Jesus. Thiago in the Liverpool midfield. Long ball down the left-hand touchline. is a good ball, well measured by Simicast. Driven cross on the half volley to the far post. Salah was lurking. Tommy Yasu is there to head it away. Here's Martinelli. Again, excellent close control. Fouled inside his own half by Luis Diaz. Arsenal get the free kick. More thoughts from Glenn Murray in a second. Here's your Liverpool lineup. Alisson in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold, Joel Matip, Virgil van Dijk and Kostas Simikas with Andy Robertson still missing at the moment. Henderson and Thiago in central midfield. Salah, Jota, Diaz playing off Darwin Nunez uh, up front. Four and a half minutes gone. Arsenal leading Liverpool by a goal to nil. Gabriel with a left-footed ball forward to Xhaka. Xhaka to Partey, back out to the left to Tommy Yasu. Played back to Gabriel again. Gabriel forward into midfield. Jesus is under pressure there and he's lost it and Darwin Nunez brings it forward. Fancies a shot, wins a corner as the shot's deflected and goes behind. Glenn Murray. And just as, as Arsenal had possession there, Liverpool lined up in more of a 4-3-3 with, with Mo Salah on the right of that midfield and Jota was on the right of, of, of the forward three. So I wonder if that's what they're trying to adopt. But Nunez was very direct there, wanted to get his shot off, shot off early and result in a corner for Liverpool. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 0 on the BBC World Service, BBC Radio 5 Live and the BBC Sounds app. Corner for Liverpool, Trent Alexander-Arnold holds his left arm in the air, two steps to the ball, it's an away swinger, Xhaka gets a header on it, Van Dijk tries to get to the loose ball, Martinelli, look at the speed, getting away from Luis Diaz, got a nudge in the back, he's pushed over, is it going to be an early yellow card? Michael Oliver goes to his pocket, Martinelli has stayed down, Luis Diaz gets booked. Yes, I think Ma Michael Oliver had no option but to give Diaz a, a yellow card there. He just committed a file no, no longer than 90 seconds before that and another one immediately after, especially when Martinelli was away. He burnt him. It was a foot race over about 50 yards. Martinelli had him for pace and his legs get tangled up there yeah. and a deserved yellow card. Do you I think, think so? I just watching the, the close-up on the legs there, Martinelli's legs caught each other but there might have been a clip from Diaz that sort of led to him doing that. Anyway, VAR can't look at a yellow card and Luis Diaz is on the yellow card. Ben White scoops it forward. Saka in his dark blue boots, stretches out a left leg, can't control it. Van Dijk plays it back to Alisson, closed down quickly by Jesus. Alisson curls a ball out to the left. Shimikas is there, drives it forward. Arsenal fans shouting offside as Nunez runs onto it. Assistant referee waves the flag and the Arsenal fans applaud him for getting that decision correct. And I think we could all see that from here. Here's Gabriel, plays it to the left to Granit Xhaka. Xhaka's ball down the inside left channel. Alexander-Arnold is able to intercept it, drives the diagonal forward, looks over, hit that beyond Luis Diaz, can't collect it, and behind it goes for the goal kick. So seven minutes played, Arsenal leading Liverpool by a goal to nil. As soon as Trent Alexander-Arnold picked that ball up in the right-back slot, he was looking for that diagonal pass, but really good defender by Arsenal. Ben White gets tight into Diaz along with Saliba and gives him no room at all, and the ball just runs through to relative safety. I think Premier League is saying first minute goal. Goal in the first minute for Gabriel Martinelli. Fourth of the season, and I think from what Glenn has just scribbled down on his iPad next to me, he might belong in Glenn Murray's fantasy football team as well. Is that correct, Glenn? He certainly is, Alex. He certainly is. Joy for Glenn Murray here, sitting alongside me at the Emirates Stadium. Martinelli released by Jesus down the left-hand side. Alexander-Arnold makes the tackle. Ball comes off Martinelli and goes out for a throw into Liverpool. So test for Arsenal to see how they cope with having the lead and all the expectation. Test for Liverpool. So Glenn, so far this season, this is an eighth Premier League game this season. They've conceded the first goal now in six of those eight games. So it's a position they're actually they're used to being in this season. <laughs> yes, it, it is. I mean, unbelievably so. I think they've got the worst if, uh, worst first half record in the Premier yeah. League this, this season. So yeah. it's... I mean, it's, it's unbelievable, but we can see Alisson on the ball here and they're playing a lot of short passes. There doesn't seem to be a long pass on by the goalkeeper and he seems to be getting quite agitated. And when an elder statesman of the squad gets agitated, it, it, spreads, through the, it spreads through everyone on the pitch. And it just doesn't seem harmonious at the minute, does it, Ali? Not settled from Liverpool. They're behind. Eight and a half minutes played. Thiago on the ball, he often calms things down, drives it forward with his right foot, Tommy Yasu's got it covered, Salah continues to chase, now Ramsdale's a long way outside his penalty area, Salah's interested there, chases him, Ramsdale clears and knocks the ball out for a throw into Liverpool, attacking position on the right hand side, Palace 2 leads 1, West Ham 3, Fulham 1 and Glenn you've just spotted that Aaron Ramsdale has hurt himself in making that clearance. 
Yeah, he has. Uh, it was it was sort of like he was wanting the ball to roll into his 18-yard box, but he wasn't going to quite make it before uh, Salah arrived on the scene. So he had to take it out towards the touchline. He clears it with his left foot, and as soon as he clears it with his left foot, he goes down on his knees, and he's just holding, I think it's his right hip flexor sort of area. This could be a really big blow for Arsenal. They do not need to, to lose Aaron Ramsdale so early in the game. He's a huge part of what they're doing at the moment, even just as a character. He hasn't done anything this afternoon. I don't think he's barely touched the ball or, or not in any danger anyways, but just a big character. He talks a lot to this this young back four, and I think it'd be a big miss if, if he has to go off here, but it's not looking very good for the, no, it's the Arsenal number one. It's not. He's, he's sat down on the turf at the moment. Now, now he's picked himself up and he's still holding that, that right hip right. He's going to try and continue. The replacement, if there was to be one, Matt Turner, the American goalkeeper signed from the New England Revolution in the summer, who started both of the Europa League games. So he has had some football for Arsenal, but he's not played in the Premier League. And he's certainly not played in a game of, no. of this magnitude in, in, in this country. So, so Ramsdale will keep an eye on him. He's back on his feet, rubbing his hands together, and he's walking to the edge of his penalty area. And he's not under pressure at the moment because Liverpool have the ball back with their goalkeeper, Alisson, who I think is going to be quite warm in those sort of black leggings uh, that he's wearing underneath his black goalkeeping shorts. Nunez and Saliba having a very physical battle and Nunez has done brilliantly to hold Saliba off and play it to Thiago. Thiago quickly ships the ball on to Jordan Henderson. Henderson sees space in front of him, goes charging across the halfway line, looking for an option. Mo Salah out wide on the right-hand side. I don't think Jota has touched the ball as yet. Henderson's ball into Jota, chests it down, trying to tee himself up for a volley. Gabriel clears the bouncing ball. Martinelli chests it down. He's heading towards his own corner flag. Can't keep it in and it goes out for throwing or corner. Not sure. I'm not sure. Actually. Let's see. It wasn't clear with the uh, with the flag. There was this uh, corner. Corner. I think. Corner. We can tell that because Trent Alexander-Arnold has not got the ball in both hands and holding it behind his head. He's placing it down on the quadrant. So second corner of the game for Liverpool. If you have just joined us on Five Live, BBC Sounds or the BBC World Service, Martinelli's goal in the first minute. As Arsenal leading Liverpool by a goal to nil. Away swinger again. Header from Van Dijk. Good contact. Way over the crossbar. Off target and behind for a goal kick. Yeah, it's that usual connection we've seen. Trent Alexander whips it in. And I tend to feel he's a long way out. He's a long... I think he's maybe... 15 yards out Van Dijk there but the ball's coming at him he doesn't have to jump far off the ground I think he's got to do better with that header I think he's got to try at least and get it on target and ask a question of the recently injured Ramsdale Martinelli leaps to win a header inside the Liverpool half he can only direct it to Matic Matic hoists the clearance away offside flag up against Darwin Nunez that'll be a free kick to Arsenal one stat we can cross off the list. I've written down one goalless draw between these two in the last 46 league games. I didn't want to actually read that out at nil-nil, just in case we put the mockers on it, but that changed in the first minute of the game. Ten to be goals uh, in these games. Saka plays in field to Partey. Partey sees Ben White making a move down the right. White slow ball into the box. Runs in a Xhaka. Good save from Allison throws himself to his left the flag was up it was offside it wouldn't have counted but Arsenal cut Liverpool open again yes they didn't it was Ben White's ball in I thought it was a bad ball because he was a little bit behind his forward line he wants it in that corridor of opportunity in front of Jesus he wrong foots everyone it rolls to the back post to Zaka on his wrong foot asks a question of Allison, and he answers it Thiago ball out from his own half and Luis Diaz in a lot of space on the left Mikel Arteta's got an arm up for a potential offside the flag doesn't go up Diaz into the Arsenal penalty area lays it off to Shimikas who comes steaming up in support the cross comes in and it's headed away only as far as Thiago Thiago got Jordan Henderson to his right quick touch from Henderson gets the ball out and away to the right and Mo Salah wants to have a run at Tomiyasu Tomiyasu wins the first battle of the afternoon against Mo Salah looks to find Jesus with the ball forward but only finds Joel Matip and Liverpool have it again inside their own half. A lot of Liverpool's good players coming down this left-hand side, funny enough, with Simicas and, and Diaz. But for me, when, when Thiago gets on the ball and when Henderson gets on the ball, they look up. That front three of Liverpool is quite flat and it hasn't got too much movement, Halle, uh, Ali. And when it has got movement, it's a bit eager and, and Nunes is just straying offside. A, a little bit eager, I think, the young man. Yeah, it's what we've seen from Liverpool so far this season. Just not quite clicking for them. Plenty of time to adjust. 14 minutes gone in the first half. Jurgen Klopp uh, in black casuals this afternoon. 
White trainers, hands behind his back, watching the ball loose on the halfway line. Partey puts a foot on it. Van Dyke collects the loose ball inside his own half, strokes a, a pass across to Matip. Alexander-Arnold's close to him. Alexander-Arnold with a curling ball over the top. Jota chests it down on the right-hand side of the Arsenal box. Crosses, appeals for handball against Gabriel. Gabriel keeps playing, clears the ball out for a Liverpool throw. So Liverpool won't take that throw just yet because if there is a shout for handball, they'll want VAR to look at it. Mm. That's a big shout, that. He's got his arm. It's in an unnatural Ooh. position, should we say. It's, it's up above his shoulder and Jota just tries to feel the ball in on his blind side into the penalty box and it hits Gabriel on the arm, clearly, but it's waved away. Interesting. I, I, that was a close one, I think, Glenn. You're right. It was it was away from the body. He was sort of moving. It was fluid movement, but but weirdly, sort of from the crook of the elbow, the, the left arm was dangling. You can see why Liverpool delayed the throw. They didn't get the shout. Erdegaard plays the ball back to Partey, and Saka goes running away from Simikas again. That's how Arsenal scored the first goal. Simikas bumps into Saka. That was shoulder to shoulder. Saka stayed down. Referee Michael Oliver says no free kick, and Allison. Is he bowling that ball out of play? Yes, he is, so that Saka can receive three. Was it, was it Ali? Shoulder, shoulder? What do you think? You've played the game. I feel as though Simicas played, played the player. I feel as though he wasn't looking at the ball. He runs into Saka. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a high elbow. Yeah. Not, not an elbow, but he's used... He's, <laughs> he's come across Saka there, hasn't he? Yes. Again, a 50-50. I mean, it's... There's a bit of arm in there. The reason Saka's gone down is because I think a loose finger caught him in the eye and that's how he got hurt. But I feel as though he didn't play the ball. He played no. the man. Yeah. The ball was a secondary thought. Yeah, he's looking at Saka, not the ball. That's true. That is true. 16 minutes gone first half. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 0. You can have your say on all the events in 6.06 uh, this evening. That'll follow us uh, tonight. Coming on a little later uh, than normal. Five Live Sport going through until 7 o'clock this evening. Everton Man U. Manchester United kicks off at 7 o'clock in the Premier League uh, this evening. Lee Blakeman will bring you updates uh, of that one. Van Dijk's on the ball for Liverpool. Edge of his box towards Thiago. First time pass flicked on by Jota to Henderson. Ball one in midfield by Xhaka originally. Saka battles with Shimikas again. Offside flag up against Liverpool. Arsenal have a free kick inside their own half. And when Alisson's got it, sort of starting, trying to start the play, Liverpool have got a flat four up front, bang up against the Arsenal back four as well. And they're trying to find space in their own half to play but they just don't seem to be able to play through the thirds do they they're struggling to, to sort of connect the dots almost they're getting it to Van Dijk and he just hasn't really got a pass on he, he shifted to Simicas who, who seems to go back to him and he, there's just nothing in front of them uh, Saliba with his right foot looking for that run of Saka just slightly overhits the pass Saka was interested but realised it was going to get away from him bounces twice and goes out for a throw into Liverpool deep in their left back position Kilmarnock 2, Hearts 1. Still a latest score in the Scottish Premiership this afternoon. That game kicked off at 3 o'clock in the Championship. Huddersfield beat Hull by two goals to nil. That's the only game in the Championship this afternoon. Here Arsenal are leading Liverpool 1-0 through the early Martinelli goal. Thiago wins a header. Partey chests the ball down. Ten yards inside the Liverpool half. Immediately plays it back to the hulking figure of Arsenal's number six, Gabriel. Across to Tommy Yasu. Tommy Yasu at left back this afternoon with Zinchenko missing and Kieran Tierney on the bench. Gabriel plays the ball across to Saliba. Saliba forward to Jesus. Lovely silky touch from Jesus. Erdegaard plays it on. And it's Xhaka there in the centre forwards role trying to get on the end of it. Couldn't get there. Allison clears with his right foot. Tommy Yasu heads that clearance forward. Martinelli chests the ball down with his back to goal. Passes short to Tommy Yasu. But the Japanese made something of it. And now Martinelli moving in from the left. Doesn't pick his pass well. Thiago intercepts. And Luis Diaz suddenly has a chance to get away from the chasing Arsenal players down the left. Nunez makes the run down the left. But Diaz switches play to the right. Salah, lovely first touch in some light green boots. Lays it back to Jordan Henderson. Again, another little one-two between the pair. Walking pace now. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays it to Henderson. Back to Van Dijk. Arsenal have everyone behind the ball. Defending their 1-0 lead at the moment. Salah 
busying himself in from the right. Henderson tries to find him with a lofted pass over the top. It's over hit, bounces once, and Aaron Ramsdale comes to collect. That's the first bit of possession Liverpool have had in, in the Arsenal half, a, a structured bit of possession, but Arsenal were happy to sit in and just let them have it around their shell and eventually just got played to nothing. Arsenal will be happy with that. Ball at Aaron Ramsdale's feet, 19 minutes played. It's the from the Brighton and Palace striker, Glenn Murray, with us on Five Live BBC Sounds in the World Service this afternoon. Ramsdale slightly overhit the pass. Goes out for a throw-in. Floodlights have come on. It's funny, actually, because we sit underneath the sort of tier in the stand that we're sitting just above the tunnel here. <laughs> Very clearly, it was like someone had just switched the lights on there. Well, it's because they have. <laughs> it's, because, <laughs> it's because they have. Exactly. Van Dijk on the ball for Liverpool. Conceding the first goal again this season. Six of eight Premier League games. So far this season, they have conceded first. They've got to try and come from behind. Trent Alexander-Arnold rolls the ball back to Van Dijk. Van Dijk to Thiago. Saka comes towards him. This is all inside the Liverpool half. Henderson gets involved to Alexander-Arnold. Lovely left-footed pass from him to Thiago. Thiago gets it back from Henderson. Partey tries to intercept. The ball runs forward to Gabriel Jesus, who's twisting and turning. Stopped by Jota. Xhaka is there looking for Martinelli on the left. Couldn't control the pass. And out it goes for the throw. Again, actually, Dan, I wanted to come to you on the, on the, the Xhaka positioning. You know, being in that centre-forwards role for the ball through and the shot he's already had, had on go. He's, he's got more licence now, hasn't he, Xhaka? Yeah, much more licence. And, and we've seen a better player for that licence. Uh, higher up, a, a little bit more creative, but he did get caught in the wrong position in that number nine because if that's Martinelli, he's got the pace to get behind the Liverpool back four there, but Xhaka just hasn't got that blistering pace, even though it was the right run, it was the wrong man. Yeah, I think I think his rebirth as well and his sort of popularity with the Arsenal fans, given what he's been through here, is a real sign again of the, the way the atmosphere has changed. They love this man, Bakayo Saka. Saka plays it out to Martinelli at speed again, taking on Trent Alexander-Arnold, cross to the far post beyond everyone. Saka was waiting in the middle, couldn't get there. Ben White chases it hard, keeps in by the corner flag down on the right hand side tries to find Saka Diaz intercepts and the referee Michael Oliver blows the whistle because Trent Alexander-Arnold is down in some pain inside the Liverpool penalty area with his left arm across his face so what happened there we'll have to have a look on the replays 21 minutes gone Arsenal lead Liverpool 1-0 Yes, as we sit here just now, right hand side alley, we can see Trent Alexander Arnold down, and he does look in some discomfort, doesn't he? I'm not sure his, his hand is over his face. I think it's more just a grimace hold, holding his head almost. I think it's his ankle. Right. I don't know if there's been a coming together as that as that ball was knocked over there from Martelli. We're just going to see a replay here. Martelli plays his left foot. Oh, Ow. and and he it's it's not deliberate. It, it's unfortunate as. Gabriel Martinelli crosses his left foot as he goes to plant that left foot he just stands on Trent Alexander-Arnold's ankle and it just folds right under him and that is a really painful one and unfortunately for Alexander-Arnold it's the most important one it is right one yeah it was the follow through on the cross and as, as Glenn Murray says absolutely not deliberate from Martinelli Alexander-Arnold's foot was, was just in the way he's, he's, he's struggling though yes he is that, that, that is one for footballers your ankles are, you try and keep them as strong as possible but you put so much so much force through them with turns and, and obviously tackles and things they, they are a weak point for, for footballers and his right ankle there it, that's a ligament one that and, yeah. and it's one that's going to get worse as the afternoon continues as soon as he cools down tonight that will swell up Kilmarnock two hearts two and Nathaniel Atkinson has scored in the 94th minute of the game for hearts looks like it might end up as a draw but they're still playing not got a full time we're as at yet. the wrong place Ali <laughs> no, I don't think we are I don't think we are we've only had 23 minutes here uh, Arsenal uh, are leading Liverpool by a goal to nil and we're still waiting to see uh, if Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to be okay to continue the other thing I was just thinking as well uh, Glenn was listening to Gareth Southgate and, and Rob Page uh, who was interviewed by John Murray earlier on today because they've been out of the Euro 2024 qualifying draw out in Frankfurt and they both made the point any injuries now so close to the World Cup are, you know I mean 
earlier in the season you think okay you know someone like Carl Walker might yeah. recover or Calvin Phillips might recover but now we get we're getting so close aren't we yes we are and, and this league that we are lucky enough to watch week in week out is so competitive so you can't protect yourself it, it's a hundred percent every week and it's just fortune and you've just got to hope that you don't get injured that you don't pick up a knock and that you are sort of flying going into that World Cup Alexander Arnold back on his feet. Five live BBC sounds in the World Service, live from the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal leading Liverpool by a goal to nil. Jurgen Klopp, you can see the frustration just, just starting to come to the brim here. He's, he's holding his right arm out to say to Alisson, look, that, that's the pass. He was talking to Shimikas, this is where you've got to go. The ball is back uh, with Alisson. Alisson inside his own penalty area. Plays the ball to Joel Matip. Matip across to, uh, to Van Dijk. Van Dijk switches it to the left at Diaz Diaz plays a 1-2 with Thiago Henderson stretches Liverpool still keep it because Salah was there Henderson looking for the ball to Jota on the right Tommy Yasu gets onto it for Arsenal Jesus lovely ball to Martinelli Martinelli plays back to Partey right in the middle of the pitch floats one out to the left hand side controlled sweetly by Jesus through ball didn't work but it came bouncing straight back to the Brazilian and this time he just dances into a little right footed pass and plays back to his fellow Brazilian Gabriel Xhaka on the left curls a ball in Martinelli jumps for it and Thiago uh, heads it back to Liverpool's goalkeeper uh, Alisson Wasps against Northampton Saints in the rugby this afternoon uh, Adam Whitty with the latest well we have a thrilling finish ahead Northampton have just scored meaning that it's 36-33 Wasps look like they got a decisive penalty a few moments ago they're down to 14 men after Jacob Umanga's uh, yellow red card but uh, Saints have just got over the line to mean they can close it to one point gap with just one minute remaining blockbuster finish ahead it is Wasps 36 Northampton 35 thank you Adam Aaron Ramsdale's palms have been stung by Darwin Nunez optimistic shot from the angle struck it well Ramsdale made the save I guess the danger from the save actually Glenn was where the ball went loose in the Arsenal penalty area it didn't fall to a Liverpool player no the way it was going he was always going to palm it into sort of the oncoming traffic I just wonder it was quite a tight angle from Nunez and I understand why he's he's hitting that and he's in he's it's a good strike it's a powerful strike on target I mean the young man he is a constant threat he might not have been involved in the game much but he's a constant threat running behind always given an option I just wonder if he could have pulled that back to a, yeah. to a teammate there 26 minutes played in the first half it has been uh, absorbing as we knew it would be Arsenal have a free kick Ben White takes it and just chips it down the right hand side headed away by Shimikas towards Diaz nods it to Henderson Thiago's first time ball to Diaz half blocked by Ben White and then Saka chasing Diaz back hauls him back by the shoulder free kick for Liverpool just inside the Arsenal half wide on the left and Luis Diaz asking for a yellow card for uh, Partey I beg your pardon with the challenge yes it was Partey and, and as Luis Diaz walks away there he did get dragged down it was a free kick but he's asking for a yellow card and they are the things that I don't like to see as, as a former professional footballer asking for another pro to be to be booked for, for what wasn't a malicious channel, mm. challenge I think it's poor I think it's poor sportsmanship I wonder if it's got something to do with the fact that Luis Diaz owns a yellow card yes, himself yes it is, <laughs> it is it's, and do you know what I think it boils down to frustration yeah. Yeah, not going Liverpool's way. Arsenal have been the better team so far. Scored in the first minute of the game. Look the more likely at the moment. Here's Martinelli. Ball to Xhaka. Lovely pass forward here to Jesus. Trying to work it onto the right foot inside the Liverpool penalty area. Lays it to his left. Tommy Yasu in support. Cross comes in. Thought that might get to Erdegaard. Falls at the feet of Jesus. Jesus surrounded by white Liverpool shirts. It's those dancing feet again. Tries to get a shot away. And it's a, a bobbler into the arms of Alisson at the near post. But he's, he's close control his skills. Yeah, he's a fantastic footballer, isn't he? And I think... If it wasn't for Erling Haaland, it'd be the signing of the summer. But <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he seems to be seems to be so happy in that number nine role, representing this football club, knowing he's going to play week in, week out, and we're seeing the best of him at the moment. Yeah, I mean that was the very unfair comparison I saw. His best return for City in a league season was was 14 goals, and Erling Haaland obviously is having the season that he's having, and people were drawing that comparison. But I mean, he wasn't given 
the role. You know, he didn't he didn't start all the time for for Manchester City. I'm not I'm not comparing the two. They're totally different players, and Haaland is going to be off the charts this season. But having a regular run as the first choice number nine, you can see what it's done for him. Oh yeah, you can see the confidence brimming him, and, and I'm so so surprised that Brazil have overlooked him. That, mm. that, that 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 was my biggest thing because I felt as though this move. I'm sure in the summer he was thinking this is going to give me the platform to lead my country at the World Cup and he's, he's done his part he's, he's done everything that's been asked of him and he's, he's, he's produced the goods but he's been completely overlooked by his country ball played back to Granit Xhaka for Arsenal leading Liverpool by a goal to nil Matic steps in to intercept Jota good skill running at the Arsenal defence now up to the edge of the box plays it to his left to Diaz Diaz's ball bumps up hits Ben White comes back with a handball from Diaz slight miscontrol the ball ended up Putting the Colombian on the hand. Arsenal take the free kick quickly. Erdegaard looking for Saka down the right. Saka couldn't quite keep it in. Throwing for Liverpool. Van Dijk's ready to take it. Which he does. And throws it back to Alisson. 29 minutes gone in the first half. Matip chests it down. Edge of his own box. Gabriel Jesus comes jogging up behind him. Matip's got plenty of time to... Play it down the right. Nice first time ball from Salah to Henderson. Henderson looking for the run of Darwin. Darwin's low ball nearly found Diaz. And actually Ramsdale makes a brilliant save low to his left from Saliba's interception. Could have been an own goal. What a fantastic run and an even better ball by Darwin Nunes. He gets down the right hand side. He doesn't even think about it. He puts it in that corridor of opportunity. And you know what happens? Gabriel nearly scores an own goal. Yep. Great save from Ramsdale reacted well low to his left Diaz was lurking behind to try and get on the end of the cross more promising for Liverpool 15 minutes remaining in the first half Arsenal 1 Liverpool nil. and as Liverpool come forward the stadium just falls silent for a moment or two so possibly a, a little bit of anxiety about that recent chance for Liverpool Thiago curling ball beyond Jesus finds Matip Matip quickly on to Henderson just inside the Arsenal half back to Matip uses Henderson again and now Trent Alexander-Arnold who seems to have recovered from the knock on the ankle back to Matic Matic looking for an option again 10 yards inside the Arsenal half and the ball at the moment is just going side to side Van Dijk curling ball over to Trent Alexander-Arnold back it comes to Matic in the centre circle looking to try and thread one through doesn't think it's on comes across to Van Dijk and now to Shimikas, who like Nunez has the, uh, the longer hair tied back in a tight bun at the back of his head still Liverpool going side to side Thiago gets onto the ball tries a clever little one with the outside of his right foot finds Jota Jota bumped by Erdegaard but he's able to keep going Henderson sees Salah in space wide on the right Salah drifts past Martinelli beats Tomoyasu curling shot misses the near post Ramsdale had it covered goal kick for Arsenal Yes, it's more or less the first time we've seen Mo Salah. He picks up a little pocket of space on that right-hand side and he drives in past Tomiyasu, past another Arsenal defender approaching and he just doesn't get his shot away. Two good bits, one bad bit. The most important, the shot. More promising from Liverpool, last four or five minutes. Kilmarnock 2, Hearts 2 is a full-time result in the Scottish Premiership. Everton, Manchester United kicks off at 7 o'clock in the Premier League this evening. Uh, updates from Lee Blakeman into... Uh, 6.06 with Chris Sutton and Robbie Savage uh, tonight. Arsenal looking to try and make something of possession inside the Liverpool half. But Salah's back to win it. Oh, Matip under pressure. Plays it out here to Shimikas. Shimikas is in trouble as well. They're buzzing around him. He does really well, Shimikas. Gets away from Ben White. White gets a late challenge in. Nunez keeps it, plays it back to Van Dijk. And Diaz on the ball. Arteta nearly tackled him right on the edge of the pitch there. Diaz kept his concentration. Plays the ball infield to Thiago. Clever feet from Thiago. Little touch with his right foot. Pass with his left. Comes back to Van Dijk again. Do you know what? They might not have been at their best this afternoon so far, Liverpool. But watching Thiago manipulate a football mm. is a thing of beauty. Absolutely right. Ramsdale taking a chance, dribbles round Darwin, beats him as well, clears with his right foot and the ball goes out. For a throw into Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp applauds the press. Wasps Northampton full-time in the rugby, here's Adam Whitty. Northampton Saints have pulled up an extraordinary comeback to beat Wasps. Courtnell Skosen with a fabulous last play try to snatch it for the Saints by 40 points to 36. They've been behind for most of the game, but a red card for Jacob Umanga. Two late tries have stunned Wasps and given Northampton a bonus point win. The focus for Wasps now turns to their off-field drama. They're facing administration. What a game. Saints 40, Wasps 36. 
in the other game, Saracens go top of the table with a comprehensive 34-14 win over Newcastle. Thank you, Adam. Danger for Arsenal. Darwin scored. Diaz with the cross from the byline. Darwin goes running in front of the Arsenal fans and taunts them as he celebrates with his Liverpool teammates. He gets the crucial touch and Liverpool are back in the game. It's Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1. Hang on a second. Arsenal fans on their feet. They're applauding their team straight on their feet and saying, get yourselves back in the game. Glenn Murray. What a brilliant goal from Liverpool. There have been a constant threat. Nunes has constantly made that running behind. He drives into the middle. Diaz puts it in. He gets the outside of his right boot on it. And it bubbles over the approaching Aaron Ramsdale. 1-1 here at the Emirates. Darwin Nunes back on the score sheet. Darwin Nunez in the right place at the right time. It's the third Premier League start of the season for him. We were talking about the fans sticking with Arsenal. Great show of support. Yes, because you thought there was a VAR check or something That's there, did you, Ali? Because they, as soon as that ball's hit the back of the net, Nunez is he's wheeled away, celebrated, but the reaction of the of the home supporters there was, it was to behold, wasn't it? Now, hang on. We're not kicking off just yet. Michael Oliver has been told to hold says on the big screens all around the ground Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1 Darwin thinks he has his second Premier League goal of the season he does, we're back underway scored on the opening weekend in the 2-2 draw against Fulham and has scored in the big game here uh, against Arsenal Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1 Liverpool fancy it now Henderson bringing it forward Diaz away again down the left hand side Saliba chasing still Diaz Saliba uses his shoulder to knock him off balance flag's gone out offside it was offside anyway so Michael Oliver didn't have a decision to make about Saliba's challenge on Diaz Arsenal get a free kick 1-1 but just like that Liverpool hit their groove they score a goal and all, almost immediately they're right up the other end and nearly creating another opportunity and that's what this Liverpool side can do they just want to see it more often brilliant from Diaz to create the goal and Darwin Nunez uh, is going to be feeling absolutely fantastic about the finish one thing I will say about Darwin Nunes is he constantly makes that, that forward run over and over again. Sometimes he's offside. 90% of the time he doesn't get picked out, but he doesn't put him off doing it. He constantly does it. He's a constant menace. And that's one thing uh, defenders hate, is people who run behind and ask questions. Ten minutes remaining in the first half. Jordan Henderson's got a bit underneath a, a crossfield ball. He was looking for Mo Salah, and it's like a... He was a little, to the touchline from a rugby player. Tony Pulis told me it was like your approach to the green yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I've had so much stick about that. Honestly, Ian Dennis put that on air yesterday afternoon. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays the ball forward with his left foot. Gabriel stretches. Ball goes straight up in the air. He gets a second chance to clear it. Has a little word with his goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale, behind him. Liverpool definitely on top in the game at the moment. They've got their equaliser. Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1. Van Dijk graciously striding forward plays it out to Shimikas back to Van Dijk he's got Thiago right next to him Thiago gives it straight back to him just inside the Arsenal half Arsenal fans again you can hear the support for their team they've been pegged back Diaz tackled by Partey ball is loose inside the Arsenal half Liverpool win it back Arsenal felt they should have had a free kick for the Diaz challenge on Partey Diaz has now stayed down Liverpool keep playing have they seen that their teammate is injured yes Van Dijk has and he knocks the ball out of play. So nine minutes remaining in the first half. Arsenal one, Liverpool one. And the, the goal, you, I wouldn't, could, could we see it coming up? Liverpool, Liverpool were sort of growing into the game, weren't they, when the goal came? Yes, they were. And, and I think they've had a couple of opportunities where they can put that ball across. But this time, they've, I mean, they nearly got an own goal. Gabriel at the front post there. It was a very similar move. This time he beats the first man. And who's there? Nunes to to I think the best way to describe it is scuff it home yeah. but that doesn't matter as long as it hits the back of the net and all of a sudden we've got a game on our hands and, and this is very like the North London derby I was here last weekend Arsenal took the lead then Tottenham came back into it so they have been in this position before and that is probably why the fans reacted as they did I think Luis Diaz is down hurt at the moment so we do have a break in play Arsenal 1 Liverpool 1 go on Glenn we've got a stat for you Ali oh I love stats go on do you so now, with that, that goal, these two goals actually, this is the <laughs> highest scoring fixture yep. in Premier League history. It was right. Tottenham and Arsenal, they went level with 175 goals last weekend. Okay. But now, 
Arsenal and Liverpool have now gone to 177 goals. OK, so the one I have coming into this game as we wait for Luis Diaz to get it to his feet, 55 goals in the last 13 league games between the two. Liverpool 39, Arsenal 16. So that becomes Liverpool 40, Arsenal 17, goes up to 57. But I think, I think yours might trump that. Yeah, I don't think you want to put that to the vote, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Seven minutes left in the first half. Uh, Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1, uh, as entertaining as we thought it would be. And I think, I think a lot of people felt both teams would score. Uh, Diaz is still hobbling, still struggling a bit. Shakes his head. Arsenal fans giving him a bit of stick. Darwin Nunez giving Arsenal fans. He was sort of mimicking boo-hoo, wasn't he, Glenn, after he scored, wasn't he? He was, you know, like the sort of the... Yeah, a baby crying. Yeah, he was rubbing his eyes at the Arsenal fans just yeah. to wind them up. But you can see he's that type of character. He seems to thrive in these situations. And I don't think there's a better feeling in football for a striker <laughs> to score a goal in front of a stand that doesn't stand up and doesn't cheer. <laughs> and you're the minority and you wheel away in front of them and make them unhappy. That, I can guarantee you, is the best feeling out there. Yeah, well, exactly. If you give it as a fan, then when it goes against you, as long as it's within reason, uh, you, you've, you've got to take it. And that goes both ways. Henderson plays the ball back to Allison. Six minutes left in the first half. Jurgen Klopp thinks he's going to have to make a change, doesn't he, Glenn? Yes, I Firmino. think uh, Firmino has just waved quite aggressively at Bobby Firmino and he makes his way back to the bench to get stripped and it looks like Luis Diaz's yeah. afternoon is over already. Yeah, but he's got the options as Jurgen Klopp on that bench. Ball forward to Darwin. Flags up, yeah. Easy to spot. He was offside. Free kick for Arsenal. Firmino's another one who's a fabulous goal-scoring record uh, against Arsenal. Nine in 14 Premier League games against them. So Diaz is sat down. Oh, right, he's sat down now when Arsenal have the ball. That That is a little bit naughty, actually, because he could have sat down when Liverpool had the ball. Arsenal continue to play. What are they going to do? Arsenal fans do not want Gabriel to put the ball out of play, and he does so, so Liverpool are going to be able to make the change. Personally, I think he should play on there. Yeah. He waited, didn't he? He was on his feet. Yeah. He waited until the game started again, then he sat down. I think Arsenal should play on there, and, and you can see that I think the majority of the stadium believe that as well. Yeah, no, it's it's cynical. We know what he was doing. We also know that an Arsenal player would probably do it as well in the same situation, but the Arsenal fans quite clearly didn't like it. So, so the, the rhythm of the game has just got broken up a little since the Liverpool equaliser. Ben White decides he needs a change of shirt. So one comes off and one is being put back on very quickly Jurgen Klopp gives Roberto Firmino uh, a big hug five goals in the Premier League already for him this season so, I mean Liverpool aren't losing anything Glenn but I mean Diaz has obviously created well, the goal for me maybe a little bit of speed, <laughs> speed yeah. Yeah. but no Bobby Firmino has been he's been the hot shot so far this this season and you know what 41 minutes into the game Diaz is coming off yes he, ha he has got an assist but so far it's been a, a bitty frustrating afternoon for the man he's, he's not really I think played that well. He's picked up a yellow card and yeah. I think it's a positive change for Liverpool. All right, let's see what happens then. So Firmino, wearing the number nine, has sort of moved into the number 10 role. Jota's come out to the left and Salah's wide on the right with Darwin still through the middle. That makes sense. I mean, it's still, it's still adventurous. It's still attacking and it's still 1-1 with three and a half minutes remaining in this first half on Five Live, BBC Sounds and the World Service. All the reaction to today's football events and the Football Daily podcast for you on the BBC Sounds app uh, tomorrow morning. Palace 2 leads 1, West Ham 3, Fulham 1. Score lines in the earlier kickoffs today. Everton Manchester United kicking off at 7 o'clock this evening. Forest Villa reports on that one into the Monday nightclub on 5 Live and BBC Sounds tomorrow night. Xhaka leaps to win a header. Henderson plays it out to Salah on the right. Back to Alexander-Arnold. Gabriel Jesus cuts off the pass back to the goalkeeper. Forward to Henderson. Puts Thiago under pressure. Arsenal penalised. They had a chance of winning the ball back. Saka and Partey were closing in. But Henderson felt the touch down. He went Liverpool get the free kick. Yes, I can't. I think, was it not Thiago there? Thiago, I, I, feel, I feel as though Thiago knew mm. his side were in a sticky spot and he just bought that free kick off 
of Michael Oliver. Jota's cross into the edge of the penalty area. Darwin makes something of it. Salah curls a cross in. Shimikas attacking that just over his head and the ball bounces once and ends up in the arms of Ramsdale. Ramsdale bowls it out under arm to Partey straight through the middle of the pitch to Erdegaard. Erdegaard dragged back by Henderson. Henderson can feel the danger there. He knew Liverpool had been on the front foot and Arsenal were moving quickly so he's pulled him back. He doesn't get booked. That was an important challenge. Foul for his team. Gabriel plays the ball wide to the left-hand side. Gabriel Jesus has drifted wide to the left. Martinelli's in the centre-forward role at the moment. Saka's wide on the right. Two minutes left in the first half, plus a bit of added time. Saliba. Cross to Gabriel, to Tommy Yasu at left-back. Back to Gabriel. Left-footed ball across the face of his own penalty area. Saliba is able to bring it forward a few yards. Wide to Ben White. White closed down by Jota. Pass from White back to his goalkeeper, Ramsdale. Ramsdale forward to Partey, under pressure. Thiago had followed him to the edge of the box. Plays it straight back to Aaron Ramsdale, who's all in yellow, who looked like he might have had an injury problem early in the game, but that seems to have disappeared. Jesus is still wide on the left. That is a fabulous turn. Totally does Trent Alexander-Arnold on the diagonal run. Plays it to Xhaka. Xhaka now looking for Martinelli. Back to Xhaka. Across to Erdegaard. 25 yards out. Into the feet of Jesus, who tried to tee himself up for the shot. Shimikas in to win it and clear it for Liverpool. What a goal that could have been. Oh, that would have been a wonderful goal. Gabriel Jesus had a couple of touches this half that have been absolutely brilliant. He just he started that move off and he almost finished it. It was just that last touch that let him down. Martinelli looking so dangerous again, coming in from the left. Pass intercepted, comes back to Partey, who scored that wonder goal against Tottenham last week. Curling pass out to Saka. Saka trying to make something of it in the penalty area. Jota with the challenge. Free kick, though, goes to Liverpool. As Saka tried to win it, apparently he committed a foul. So Liverpool will, will get the free kick. Arsenal off to a flyer in this one, scored in the first minute. Liverpool with the Darwin equaliser and it is so well balanced now isn't it Glenn Murray yes it is this, this is the game of football that we expected and it is delivering so far as we approach the half time whistle and I think both both sides are pretty happy to go in at 1-1 at half time five minutes of added time so uh, wow. these fans these fans who are trooping out to get the cup of tea are going to miss five minutes of football and as we've seen in this first half Anything could happen. Firmino heads the ball forward. Now Darwin's going to give that a good chase and nearly got to it. Ramsdale had to be quick. Now to the edge of his box, slides forward and grabs it. Bowls it out to Partey. He likes that option. Partey again looking for Erdegaard. Can't find him. Liverpool from Thiago. Quickly on to Jota. Jota finds Darwin. Floats the pass back out to Jota who will keep it in play. Down by the byline. Back to Shimikas. Wide on the left. Looking for an option. Jota's there on the touchline. They try and play a 1-2. That works well. Jota into the Arsenal box. Partey slides in, clears it for Arsenal, throw into Liverpool. Much, much better for Liverpool this last 15 minutes. Ever since that goal went in, they've been the dominant force in the game. They've looked more like the Liverpool of old and they're just starting to hit their groove slightly. Throw in then for Liverpool, wide on the left. Four minutes remaining of this added time at the end of the first half. And again, just like in that period leading up to the Liverpool goal, it's suddenly gone quiet inside the Emirates Stadium because Liverpool have the ball. Not looking particularly threatening with it at the moment, but Thiago is on it. I must say though, Ali, it's, it's not a negative quiet. It's more of a, a cautious quiet, yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, Thiago... <laughs> Going for the proverbial eye of the needle there through the legs of Saka and Saka closes legs just in time to block the pass and it goes for a Liverpool throw. Thiago on the ball again just inside his own half, those white socks rolled down, blending into his white boots. Van Dijk drives a diagonal towards Salah, Tommy Yasu has it covered, nods it forward down the left hand touchline to Martinelli inside his own half plays back to Gabriel closed down quickly by Darwin doing a lot of running there Liverpool centre forward chases Saliba Saliba nice pass forward to Partey Partey glides up to the halfway line forward to Martinelli Martinelli turns away from Matic Firmino tries to get a challenge in Martinelli holds him off plays it to Tommy Yasu wide to the left to Jesus Back to Martinelli. Xhaka was in the centre forward role again for a second. Now it's Martinelli. Partey switches play to the right hand side. Saka brings the ball down on his thigh. Ben White on the overlap. Saka doesn't use him. Keeps it. Looking to get the cross in down by the byline. Says he's won a corner. He has won a corner for Arsenal. I think Saka was a little bit lucky there. He got caught in two minds as Ben White made that overlap. The depth of the run probably wasn't enough to give Ben White in. He just sort of clogged up there and, and Saka lost his footing, didn't really know what to do, but luckily he got a corner. 
deep and added time end of the first half Arsenal attacking the goal away to our right hand side Saka is waiting to take this corner Arsenal fans expectantly on their feet behind Alisson's goal here he comes Saka with his left foot curling ball edge of the six yard box headed up in the air by Darwin Erdegaard cushions a little volley pass back to Tommy Yasu Tommy Yasu plays it to Ramsdale who's almost in the centre circle for Arsenal stands the ball up high down the right Saka holds off Shimikas. Shimikas gives him a little nudge Saka keeps the ball in play down by the byline Ben White makes a good run flicks a pass to Erdegaard Erdegaard plays it across the Xhaka edge of the box looking for Jesus stretches he goes down still alive for Arsenal inside the Liverpool box Erdegaard just cannot get through a wall of white here's Saka low cross into the near post Van Dijk is there and clears it away and Jota plays it to Firmino lovely one-two between those two great skills from Jota beats two men beat White and Partey with one move forward to Darwin Darwin on the turn back to Jota wide on the left poor challenge from Erdegaard that'll be a yellow card Yes, it will, and it's just ended what was a fantastic piece of play from both sides. It was a pinball in the Liverpool box. Arsenal just couldn't quite get a shot away. I think the best chance came to Zaka on the edge of the box. He thought he had time. He should have took it first time. He didn't. He had a touch, got stifled, and then we see Jota with a little mazy run up this left-hand side, and eventually he was taken out quite cynically by Odegaard, who rightfully picks up a yellow card. Arsenal won, Liverpool won. 25 games since Arsenal have drawn one. Glenn, if you just want to write that down as another little stat, if we're having that game this afternoon, free oh, kick. Are we playing that game, yeah? <laughs> free, free kick for Liverpool. Comes in from wide on the left, right under Mikel Arteta's nose. Shimikas with a high ball, nodded down by Matty. Van Dijk chests it down. Jesus onto it for Arsenal. Chance of a late counter in the first half. And it's fallen to the speedster Martinelli. Run being made through the middle by Gabriel. Still Martinelli. Martinelli into the Liverpool penalty. Cross comes in. Saka sticks it in at the far post. The offside flag stays down. Liverpool arms up in vain at the moment for an offside decision. Arsenal quick as a flash from one end of the field to the other. And Saka seems to have given them the lead. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 1. It's one of their own at the back stick. Sacco floats in there unmarked and he taps in what is an easy goal for him at this level of football and he makes it 2-1 to Arsenal. He wheels away in front of the huge Arsenal flags in the clock end of the stadium and Arsenal are winning 2-1. I was going to say that we haven't seen enough of Saka, but we have now. Yeah, Saka involved in both goals right at the start of the game, right at the end of the first half. Martinelli, what a ball in for Saka in the perfect position sliding in at the far post Arsenal lead Liverpool by two goals to one always goals in this game always entertaining and it, in terms of momentum of the first half and who's dominated the game and who's looked the most threatening it has, it has swung so much yes it has it's swung like a pendulum and that's why it's been such an entertaining game of football but I'm just watching that goal back on our monitor here and I see Tsimikas and I'm not sure of his position he's been dragged right over he's closer to his front post to his back post and it just leaves Saka completely unmarked at the back stick and the ball rolls across and he taps it into an almost empty, empty net Alisson jumps up hoping I think more for an offside than no it's an offside and it isn't and we've kicked off 2-1 Arsenal there we go then very nearly the last kick of the first half the stadium erupts with noise because Arsenal get themselves back in front with Bukayo Saka sliding in at the far post have a little listen to the Arsenal fans as the two sets of players leave the field Martinelli gave them the lead in the first minute of the game Darwin Nunez with his second Premier League goal of the season got Liverpool back on level terms but what a counter attack from Arsenal both Liverpool fullbacks exposed as Saka slides in and sticks the ball away what a second half to come on Five Live BBC Sounds and the World Service half time at the Emirates Arsenal 2 Liverpool 1 Glenn Murray I remember when games between the big teams in England tended to disappoint people would almost hide behind their gloves this has been an absolutely brilliant slugfest yes I was going to say that 45 has without doubt lived up to expectation I just hope the second 45 does because that's proper football that's entertainment that's what we tune in for to be to be sort of entertained like that and it, it, it's just been an absolute joy to be here and watch it I think Ali will completely agree with me on that point I will 
Good. I will. Thank, no. you, thank, you, thank you, Ali. <laughs> the, the question I've got to ask about that goal just before half time, Glenn, is and this is really difficult because I think, because of the coverage that Trent Alexander Arnold has had, as soon as Liverpool can see sorry, the goal. Sorry, Steve, can you just ask me that question again? Because I've just had a brute of an Arsenal fan screaming at me. Any chance of giving the Gooners some respect now? So can, oh, you just, wow. can you run that by me again, please? Yes, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure we will do after we've talked a bit about Liverpool's defending. So, wh whenever Liverpool concede a goal, people look at where was Trent Alexander-Arnold because it's become a natural thing that people do. So I'm trying not to do that, but at the same time, watching that goal back, the Saka goal, you know, Trent Alexander-Arnold runs all the way across from his position. He's kind of covering in the centre with Henderson going out to, to his side and he just sprints towards the ball and leaves everything else behind him. So. Is he culpable? To be honest, Steve, that there's so much to take in at the game and we only get, yeah. obviously, the, the, the live view of it and then maybe a rerun on our tiny little postage stamp-sized monitor here. So it, it, it's hard to have a, have a proper opinion on Trent Alexander-Arnold's positioning for, for the goal. All I can say is that Simicast was dragged right over. Whether that was Trent Alexander-Arnold's fault, I'm not entirely sure. But I do think he comes for in, in for an unfairness, uh, unfairful criticism because his manager is asking him to play so far forward so inevitably you can't be in two places at once it is going to leave a gap behind but ultimately that's what Jurgen Klopp wants from him even though the outside world and everyone away from Liverpool is criticising him for that um, I want to I want to credit Arsenal's fans again here everyone apart from the person who's just screamed at you Glenn Murray because no, no he, was, he, he, he was fine <laughs> he just he just took my train of thought off you Steve that's right. all <laughs> um, because I thought exactly the same as you when Darwin Nunez scores and Ali kind of hesitated yeah. I think we all thought because of the noise oh something must have changed but it wasn't that they were just showing their support no, it was a brilliant reaction. It, it was a reaction that I'm sure Mikel Arteta, if he's aware of it, will be so, so happy with because when you get a football club pulling in one direction, and I just don't mean the, the, the sort of the playing staff, the kit man, the, the, the trainers. I mean the whole football club. I mean the fans. And with that reaction to the Liverpool goal, and I'm, I'm talking 20 seconds after it went in, the whole stadium were on their feet cheering their team forward because they've been entertained they're happy with how they play do you know what I think all that fans want is if they can see their club trying to progress uh, and the players trying their best and giving 100% week in week out for that badge and for that manager they're happy thanks guys go have a little break Glenn Murray and Ali Bruce Ball what a brilliant first half inside the Emirates can't wait for the second half both teams playing fast attacking football trying to score goals I'm sure the second 45 is going to be every bit as good right we've got reaction coming up to the two o'clock kickoffs in the Premier League we'll hear from the Leeds manager Jesse Marsh after they lost at Crystal Palace we'll also hear from the Fulham manager Marco Silva who was absolutely furious that one of West Ham's three goals the goal that put them 2-1 in front scored by Skameka was allowed to stand he thinks it was handball we'll talk about that uh, with Robbie Savage 0808 08 6-9-3 is the number to call. 606 is on the air tonight at 7 o'clock when Everton versus Manchester United kicks off in the Premier League. So lots to come before the second half kicks off at the Emirates. Let's get the news with Joe Critcher. Listen on BBC Sounds. This is BBC Radio 5 Live. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, says she doesn't regret saying I detest Tories and everything they stand for during a BBC interview. The Cabinet Office Minister, Nadeem Zahawi, has described her remarks as dangerous. But Ms Sturgeon told the BBC she was referring to Conservative policies, not members. The biggest debate in the Tory party right now is about whether or not they're going to take money from the lowest income people effectively to give it to the rich. I was not referring to individuals or certainly not to people who vote Tory, but I was referring to Tory policies and values uh, that do a lot of damage. Do you regret your choice of words? Uh, no. Pope Francis has offered his condolences to residents of a village in County Donegal where 10 people were killed on Friday in an explosion at a petrol station. A five-year-old girl and her father were among the victims of the blast in Kriesler. Dr Jerry Lane, who coordinated the emergency response, described the immediate aftermath to the Irish public broadcaster RTE. The building was inherently unstable. I saw people 
in shorts and flip-flops, wrenching corrugated iron off the canopy with their bare, naked hands and throwing it away to get at people. Those people, heroic, were placing themselves in a great deal of danger. At least 17 people have been killed by Russian missile strikes on the city of Zaporizhia. And rescuers are digging for survivors in the rubble of residential buildings that were destroyed as people slept. President Zelensky has condemned the strikes as absolute evil. Germany says the EU will impose sanctions against Iranian authorities who are cracking down on pro-reform protesters. The foreign minister says those beating up women and girls are on the wrong side of history. And more than 1,300 people who have received football banning orders in England and Wales are being told to hand in their passports to police from Friday. It's to prevent them from travelling to the World Cup in Qatar. Tonight, sorted. What's the secret to a strong relationship? Celebrities and their romantic partners think they have the answer. Watch Unbreakable with Rob Beckett. Each week they'll face a variety of challenges. Hurry up. OK, darling, don't shout at me. Oh. Only the strongest couples will survive. Bring it on. All new on BBC iPlayer. <laughs> live Premier League football than anyone else. Five Lives Premier League Sunday with Steve Crossman. It finished in the Scottish Premiership, Kilmarnock 2, Hearts 2. Earlier in the Championship, Huddersfield beat Hull City by two goals to nil, a first win for new manager Mark Fotheringham. In the Premier League, Crystal Palace beat Leeds United 2-1. It finished West Ham 3, Fulham 1. And live right now, it's Arsenal 1, Liverpool 1 at the Emirates. After we are done with this at 7 o'clock, 08085 909 693 will be the number to call to speak to Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton on 606. Robbie, good afternoon. How are you, Steve? Yeah. What a game. Good. It's fantastic, what a game. isn't it? Absolutely yeah. brilliant. What do you think about that um, that second goal? I, I don't know if you heard, I was chatting to Glenn what Murray about... What about you hammering yeah. Alexander-Arnold? Well, I wasn't hammering him. I was asking him whether he, whether he was at fault, Robbie. What do you think? <laughs> well, I've just seen um, the goal on the oh, TV. Yeah. They're, they're analysing it. So, basically, it's 3v3, um, you know, last minute of the half. And Trent Alexander... And Arnold's in a good position. He's central. It's 3v3. I think he's on Gabriel Jesus. Yeah. And as the ball goes out wide, you know, when the, um, I can't remember, it was it Martinelli? It was, It was yeah. 1v1. And what happened was Trent left the centre and went out to make a 2v1. Yes. If he had stayed in the cen centre, he might have cleared it because Gabriel Jesus lets it go through his leg. Simakas has to come across, which allowed Saka to be free on the back post. So I think if Trent stays in his position... He probably clears it, but it's fine margin, Steve. Listen, so it's it's not pitch, like a make... really bad call by him. Then is that is is well, that what well, you're saying? Well the, well, the thing is, mate. You know, when you're in that, you know, in front of sixty thousand yeah. as a player, you have to make the decision, and it's a split second decision. He thought the best thing to do is to leave his position and go and help his mate out with a two v one situation. Gotcha. But as Martinelli cuts in inside, he runs past him. He's out the game. So if he'd have stayed in his position in the centre. He might have cleared it. So you would say he's made the wrong decision that split second. Um, so you would say, Got it. listen, 3v3 in the last minute and a half, you know, game management, he shouldn't allow that anyway because Liverpool were dominant there. But I think the big decision from Klopp was to play the two midfielders. The first goal, Henderson, you know, leaves Erdegaard, he goes out wide and that allows Erdegaard to play the ball through to Martinelli. So, you know, it's been a big call. But when, it, when Liverpool equalised, and, and, and rightly so, you know, they looked like in control, but then hit on the counter. So, a big question was it handball in the first half? That I don't know what handball is anymore. Well, you've set me up perfectly there because the other big call also about handball was in the uh, the West Ham game, their victory over Fulham. Gianluca Scamacca got their second goal. Huge VAR check. Possibility that that, that goal could have been disallowed. Let's hear from Marco Silva. He was booked as he was complaining that handball wasn't given against Scamacca. Here he is with Rob Nothman. Well, Marco, lots to talk about in, in that game. Is it a game that you deserve to lose? <laughs> Good question. Let's talk about the game from the beginning. Started really well the game. We knew from the first minute the, the way we can start to command the game the way we like on the ball. We knew as well that West Ham, they don't feel really bad if they don't have the ball. It's the way they play, the, the waiting for some moments for our mistake to make some dangerous counter-attacks and all situations. But we did it well, I think, until the the penalty, we were clear the best team on the pitch. I think all of us, we agree with that. Um, controlling the game, controlling well some dangerous counter-attacks from them. We scored a 
a goal and a great strike from Andreas and a um, great chance from uh, James as well in a great strike out of the box. Of course, they had a good chance as well in that during that period, but I think we control well the game. Uh, until that moment, after came the penalty, changed a little bit the, the, the game. Of course, was a boost for them and the, the game was more balanced after that moment. Was the penalty a fair decision? I don't want to talk about the referee this afternoon. It's the better thing that I can do it because I'm sure I will be out of the, the bench next week. I'm here to, to manage my, my players, to to do what I can control as well. And uh, what I can control is our behave on the pitch. If it's a difficult decisions for the referee in some moments, you have to respect uh, them. But about the moments, the first, the second, the third goal, even the third goal, I saw <laughs> some minutes before the third goal, how oh, Antonio uh, received that ball with a hand. That is clear, it's unbelievable, but okay. But it's football, we have to to keep going because it's something that we I can't control, my players can't control. We as a club, we can't control. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Robbie, I love when managers say they don't want to talk about something and then give you everything you needed to hear. Um, listen, the, the game wasn't on TV, was it? So I'm trying to, you know, search for the for the clips. I've seen one clip of the Skamaka handball, and it looks to me it was handball um, um, from the clip on social media. But obviously, I've not seen the game. But what a win it was for West Ham! What a win it was for Crystal Palace as well. And on six or six, I'm not sure if you heard when. The lawyer rang up and absolutely hammered no, myself when when Leeds beat Chelsea. Do you remember? Oh then, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, say it all. You know, our predictions, lazy punditry. Well, look at Leeds now; <laughs> they are in the relegation fight. There's no doubt about it. So, um, you getting uh, the lawyer back on? Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you get the lawyer back on. It's, it's so much to talk about, Steve. Oh eight two eight five nine nine six nine three and Steve Middlesbrough. Are oh, you talking on, about Middlesbrough? Middlesbrough? Who's going to get it? Uh, Rob Edwards or Michael Carrick would be my uh, prediction. Right. Oh, Middlesbrough fans, 08085 909 693. And listen, there's a good question about Trent. It's, it's going to cause a debate. Well, good question, Steve, for once. Thanks very much. I mean, as, <laughs> as you know, Robbie, every so often one comes out. If you if you throw enough out there, sometimes it happens, doesn't it? <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers, Robbie. 08085 909 693 is the number to call to speak to Robbie and Chris on 606. Um, don't forget, we had the draw earlier for Euro 2024 as well. Uh, England, Gareth Southgate sides with Group C with Italy, Ukraine, North Macedonia and Malta. Wales in Group D with Croatia, Armenia, Turkey and Latvia. Scotland in Group Group A, they've got Spain, Norway, Georgia and Cyprus. Uh, Northern Ireland have got San Marino, Kazakhstan, Slovenia, Finland and Denmark. And the Republic of Ireland have Netherlands, France, Greece and Gibraltar. Uh, one other football story to bring you this afternoon, which is broken in the last half hour or so. Crawley Town have sacked their manager, Kevin Betsy, after four months in charge. The club are bottom of League Two. They've won just one of their last 12 games. I remember we spoke to him only a few months ago after they had a victory in the Cup. Uh, over Fulham, just turning our attention back then to the Emirates as I see Jurgen Klopp uh, embracing Joe Gomez in a hug. We've got second half commentary on the way. That's the noise the Arsenal fans make as their players retake the field. Glenn Murray's with Ali Bruce Ball. Thank you, Steve. Yes, I think the uh, the mention of Joe Gomez's name actually links to your conversation with Robbie ahead of 6.06 later this evening. So, Trent Alexander-Arnold is replaced at half-time. You know, people can say what they like about that, Glenn, and, and, and the second goal that Arsenal scored. We mustn't forget as well, he did take that knock on the ankle, didn't he? And he was down receiving treatment for a while, Trent Alexander-Arnold, in, in the first half. Are you alluding that it was his fault with the goal? That's why he's been no, taken no, off, Ali. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you saying that? Well, no, that's just how I picked up your <laughs> words there. I, I think that he took a really, really bad knock on the ankle. I said right away, it looked like ligament damage. And as soon as you, it's all right to carry on right into it, but you can feel it swelling in your shoe. And I think when he sat down and he's just, his body's cooled down, it, it, it just it just stiffens up yeah. then and, and your afternoon's done. I didn't expect him to see him in the second half because it, as he was stepping off the field, he was greeted by a physio immediately. Right. Yeah, yeah. 606 tonight is from 7 o'clock this evening uh, with Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton. The number to dial is 08085 909 693. So much to talk about and there will be plenty more from this second half, I'm sure. Underway, Arsenal have kicked off. Red shirts, uh, white sleeves to the red bodied shirt. White shorts with the red stripes down the side and red socks. Playing from right to left in the second half. Liverpool in change all white this afternoon with black trim and Arsenal lead Liverpool by two goals to one. And that is two changes that Jurgen Klopp has already already had to make to the starting lineup that he named Luis Diaz off in the first half replaced by Roberto Firmino and Trent Alexander-Arnold now replaced by Joe Gomez Joe Gomez last time we saw him he came off at half time in Naples uh, when Liverpool were getting the right run around from from Napoli in the 
in the Champions League and he's up against Martinelli who has looked sizzling uh, in this game so far for Arsenal he has indeed but I, I just wonder that obviously we touched on it at the top of the programme and, and Steve Crossman's trying to ask these difficult questions about Trent Alexander-Arnold it, well yeah it is his job yes. but I just I just wonder that, that now that Gomez is in that right back spot are Liverpool going to be more solid it's sort of what people have been half calling out for outside of Liverpool I would say OK let's see how it goes second half Liverpool then have possession of the ball Alisson in goal it's now Gomez at right back Matip and Van Dijk the two centre backs and Shimikas at left back Henderson and Thiago as the two midfielders Firmino playing off Darwin the goal scorer uh, Salah wide on the right Jota on the left Tommy Yasu barged over by Jordan Henderson fair challenge throwing goes to Liverpool inside their own half and Joe Gomez takes it um, Aaron Ramsdale is Arsenal's goalkeeper Allison waiting for the ball to get to him Gabriel Jesus comes a hunting but ball is played out to the left Shimikas knocks it forward Back to the halfway line. Jota is tackled. Arsenal knock it around nicely in midfield. Partey opens it up. And Xhaka looking for that speed. of Martinelli is away from Gomez. Early cross when he possibly could have hit it. Saka tries to follow up. Erdegaard tries to follow up. And the ball won't fall for Jesus. But Arsenal still have it. Floated cross from Ben White to the far post. Nodded down by Xhaka. Martinelli tries to get to it by the byline. Matty clears. And Michael Oliver gives a free kick for Martinelli's challenge on Matip as he went to make the clearance both players had their feet up and Martinelli just caught Matip I wondered whether Martinelli could shoot there Glenn yes I can't help but feel as though you've made the wrong decision there you've got fresh Joe Gomez ask a question of him cut in hit it with your right or take it on your left but he rolls what is quite a disappointing ball across the six yard box and eventually it comes to nothing Arsenal 2 Liverpool 1 5 live BBC Sounds and the BBC World Service for your commentary this afternoon Ramsdale in goal for Arsenal Ben White William Saliba Gabriel Tommy Yasu the back four Partey uh, and Xhaka that familiar midfield pairing as Tommy Yasu chips the ball down the left for Martinelli to chase he gets to that but the offside flag goes up Saka wide on the right score of the second goal Martinelli wide on the left score of the first goal in the very first minute of the game and Martin Odegaard playing off Gabriel Jesus who scored three in his last four games Jesus not yet managed to get on the score sheet this afternoon but has looked uh, ever threatening Gomez with his right foot drives the free kick forward great leap from Darwin offside free kick for Arsenal Martin Odegaard has done a column in the programme this afternoon Glenn uh, dad and brother in the stadium this afternoon they're big Liverpool fans by the way from back in the day but obviously now he plays for Arsenal they've got to support Arsenal this afternoon but it's just one of those classic sort of family family things Q, Q order guy getting the next goal <laughs> could be, could <laughs> just be. for bragging rights in the family that's all yeah Arsenal 2 Liverpool 1 and let's not forget if Arsenal win the game they go ahead of Manchester City at the top of the table Martinelli trying to bring a ball down wide on the left Matty gets a foot on it but Martinelli wins it back here's Erdegaard Alisson makes the save the shot is straight at him and he will not have a better opportunity to win the family bragging rights oh. will he because he is open like the Red Sea Liverpool's defence he gets it on that trusty left foot and he rolls what is a meek finish at Alisson Saka looking for the overlap from Ben White Arsenal can't win the corner either clearance from Shimikas comes off Saka goes out for the Liverpool throw a couple of early chances in the second half for Arsenal to get themselves 3-1 in front Chris Sutton on the phone in tonight I notice he does the um, predictions on the BBC Sport website this season you can play along with that every week if you want to he went for Arsenal 4 Liverpool 1 today at the moment it's Arsenal 2 Liverpool 1 Arsenal attacking again down the right Van Dijk is able to use his strength no he can't quite shatter the ball out of play yes he's done it Jesus thought he nicked it off him, got it back to Saka, but the flag is up, and that will be Liverpool's ball. Yes, Chris Sutton is on track he to get it right so far. Yeah. I, see, I see that he's, he's bowed to public pressure and he's captained Haaland. Yeah, eventually, <laughs> in the punish ball. Yeah, you're quite right. You're quite right. He's not happy about it, but, it, but he has done it. I don't think he's got Martinelli in the fantasy team, though. If you're interested in your fantasy football, our Fantasy 606 podcast available for you every week. Comes out on a Thursday. Here's Gabriel Jesus trying to get onto the end. Oh, Gomez! in the air and the flag is up for offside Gomez blocked the ball with his arm it was bouncing dangerously on the edge of the box had it not been offside it definitely would have been a free kick but <laughs> was it a goal scoring opportunity 
the assistant and the referee and the VR don't have to take that decision because of the offside. No, and I can't help but feel that Joe Gomez is a very lucky man because it was a clear handball. He was the last defender. I'm not sure Jesus was going directly at goal, so oh. wouldn't have been punished too bad. Allison's got away with one there. The ball was played back to him from Henderson. It's actually turned into a really good pass forward. I thought he'd miscued it. Darwin chasing a ball through the middle. Gabriel in with the challenge. And it's continuing at the same furious pace this game. Six minutes into the second half. Arsenal leading Liverpool by two goals to one. But it's the classic when those chances have come and gone early in the second half. Whether Arsenal will come to rue those come the end of the game. Because you know Liverpool are going to have another spell at some point. Jesus barges Henderson off the ball. Looks for the through ball. Through to Martinelli. He's overhit it. And it's straight to Alisson. And Henderson is raging. He's so angry because he comes on his blind side. And he really does bump him. Gabriel Jesus is such a strong character, he's got a low centre of gravity and he really moves Henderson there and the captain did not like it. Mm, Liverpool trying to play inside their own half, Van Dijk under pressure has to play back to the bearded Brazilian, the big goalkeeper Alisson all in black, left footed ball, strokes it into space, Gomez has got to chase it, keeps it in play, Martinelli's got the pace to stick with him, Gomez takes it inside Martinelli on the halfway line, Plays it back to Jordan Henderson, looking to inspire the team. In thought, word and deed. Henderson to Jota. Jota slides one through. Chance for Firmino, who scores. Loves scoring goals against Arsenal. Does it in front of the Liverpool fans. And they have cut through Arsenal there to find a second equaliser in the game. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. And just like that, Liverpool are back level. Bobby Firmino gets in, makes a brilliant diagonal run. He's found by, I think, it's Jota with a little no-look pass. Takes on his right foot, hits it back across the goal. His left foot, precision is perfect. And it rolls into the bottom left-hand corner of Aaron Ramsdale's goal, Ramsdale's goal. And that's his sixth goal of the season. Brilliant attacking football from Liverpool. Well, well. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. Unfortunately, if you're enjoying the football, and you may not be as an Arsenal fan or a Liverpool fan, but anyone listening to this this afternoon, we've only had eight minutes gone in the second half. Arsenal fans again immediately get behind their team, having conceded. Four goals already in the game. Ramsdale's long clearance, headed away by Gomez. Jordan Henderson complains about a high foot from Martinelli. The ball runs out of play. Arsenal take a quick throw. Liverpool weren't alert to that. Martinelli gets away from Henderson. Arsenal have won a corner. And Jordan Henderson's complaining about two or three different things in the lead up to that corner. But Liverpool need to concentrate on defending it. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. 59 goals now in the last 14 league games between these two teams. And Arsenal have only won one uh, of those last 13 before this one they've been pegged back to 2-2 they've got a corner in it comes from the left of the far post Allison stretches high and makes a clean catch out to the edge of his box rolls it to the feet of Jordan Henderson who's very much up for the battle looking to try and get Jota away through the middle Tomiyasu intercepts Jesus with a cheeky little nudge in the back of Thiago free kick for Liverpool they go quickly yes all of a sudden there's a little bit more speed to Liverpool's play they want to move the football they fancy this now I think they feel as though this is a winnable game Arsenal 2 Liverpool 2 Firmino score of that second goal looking for the run of Jota it's just beyond Jota Ramsdale's off his line to pick it up for Arsenal skids it out over on to Martinelli great challenge from Gomez Salah quickly on to Firmino back into the feet of Salah just got the ball caught underneath his feet there but he's able to keep possession Henderson goes wide to the right to Gomez Gomez back to Firmino. Firmino with those flecks of peroxide on the top of his head. Back to Matip. Matip likes to bring it forward. Here's Firmino again. Holds off Partey. Looking for a little chip ball to Darwin through the middle. Arsenal have cleared. Matip chests it down, but he's lost it. Partey to Erdegaard. Lovely first time ball from Erdegaard to Jesus. Arsenal look threatening now. Coming forward on the counter. Jesus curling ball with his right foot. Just beyond Erdegaard, but Erdegaard will be able to go over there and collect that. And he's got Ben White in support. Erdegaard works it onto his left foot. Tries to find White. Keeps the ball in play. There's the cutback and behind it goes. 
for the Arsenal corner. End to end, fabulous game. It is a fabulous game of football, a really entertaining game of football. And just as Gab Gabriel Jesus gets down this left hand side, it's Henderson that's dropped back into the right back spot. And I wondered if he could have gone out, gone at him and asked questions of the Liverpool captain. Unfortunately, he didn't feel the chance. Bukayo Saka over to take the corner for Arsenal. So much time left in the game. 35 minutes still to play. Arsenal fans in full voice as their team look to try and get in front again. Saka curls that corner in. Alisson punches, gets above the head of Gabriel. The ball rolls out to Saka again. Saka is under pressure, surely being fouled there by Jota. It was fouled by Simikas. Two of them had a go, they eventually got him. It's a free kick for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard then turns and applauds the efforts of the Arsenal fans and gets an extra roar in response to that. You can see the, the, uh, the big camera suspended on the wires right above the pitch has come looming into view just to get a close-up of the penalty area as Martin Odegaard waits to take this free kick from the right-hand side. 2-2, whole clutch of white shirts and red and white shirts clustered together in the middle of that Liverpool penalty area. Odegaard with the left foot. Alisson comes again, leaps high, punches clear. Bouncing ball headed by Salah to his right. Odegaard and Jota went for an aerial ball. Odegaard fell awkwardly, he's hurt himself. Arsenal are going to keep playing at the moment. Jesus is now down hurt as well. And Michael Oliver gives the free kick to Arsenal, but is waving the medical staff onto the pitch. For, is it for Jesus or for Odegaard? I think it's for Jesus. Yeah, Jesus looks, he looks out, out cold. Uh, I think, That's I think a worry. the reaction of the players above him are waving the medical staff on in, in quite a, a worried yeah. fashion. And you can always tell by the reaction of his teammate and he was face down on the turf. It did not look good for Gabriel Jesus. And it also didn't look good for Odegaard. And I thought Michael Oliver would have stopped the game because it seemed like a head injury. Yeah. Gabriel Jesus is flat on his front at the moment. And we can't we can we can only see the bottom of his boots because there's so many players around him. Medical staff straight to him, Mikel Arteta. Looks worried on the sidelines. First and foremost, obviously, everyone worried for the players' safety. Such an important player for Arsenal, but that is absolutely secondary. And we just hope that Gabriel Jesus is going to be OK. And I, I couldn't quite see what yeah. the challenge was that felled him, because the early guard one was obvious, because he fell from a height. Play continued and he picked himself up. But I, I didn't quite see what happened to Jesus, and we've not actually seen a, a no. replay of it as yet. From our, our angle, it seemed quite innocuous, didn't it? Yeah. It just seemed to get blocked up. There didn't seem too much speed to the coming together, but definitely Gabriel Jesus has hurt himself. And, and we, a minute after the collision, and he's just starting to roll over now, which is a good sign. And we can hear the applause ring around the Emirates as there's life in the young Brazilian. Yeah, that's really good to see. He rolls over Gabriel Jesus. He's slowly sitting up, and I can see his. his his nose is being tended to, so maybe he's just fallen and whacked his face. Blood coming out of the nose and is clearly groggy. Now with the concussion protocols, if, if the fall, let's have a look now. Let's see what happened here. Gabriel Jesus. Ooh. It was, was it? Simicast. It's a Simicast loose elbow, isn't it? It's just caught him a glancing blow, but at speed, ouch. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it, it's an elbow or more of a forearm, but he's yeah. caught him right across the bridge of the nose. Not, and not it, deliberate, was it, Glenn? I wouldn't say. I mean, he's running. He's, he's not tried to whack him with his arm, has he? He's caught him, but... I'm not sure, Ali. You're not sure, really? I, 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 yeah, I'm not... He's I'm, on his feet. I'm not sure if it's, it's, if it's uh, a little bit of professional mouse really? uh, coming across there. Or maybe it's accidental. It was it was a funny angle that we saw it at. And I tell you what, did did Michael Oliver? I think he gave a free kick before he called. Yes, he did. Now was that for Erdogan? Because it, if it is for the Shimikas arm, VAR will have a look at the challenge. If you know if there was anything intentional about it. I mean, it's brilliant to see Jesus on his feet, and we think he's going to be okay. Applauded by the Arsenal fans as he slowly makes his way to the side of the pitch. 15 minutes gone in the second half and that was a good delay of two or three minutes and they're still just checking that Gabriel Jesus is going to be okay. Assistant referee talking to him. Are they talking about the actual challenge? Now what's that drop ball? So, so didn't give a free kick Michael Oliver, just stopped the game. How is that not a free kick? I, well I know, I know. But what? what? Even if it is deliberate, it's it's a clear elbow to the face. Yeah. It's it's a one and, and you saw he Gabriel caught, Jesus' yeah. reaction there yeah. to the fans and he sort of mimics why what is going on. Yeah. 
Martinelli given a nudge by Gomez out of play. Michael Oliver not interested. He was chasing the ball, trying to keep it in wide on the left-hand side. Liverpool play back to Allison, and that wasn't a great ball back to Allison. And hurriedly had to clear off the back foot under pressure, and out it goes for a throw. So now, I mean, we've had some brilliant football, thrilling end-to-end stuff, but it just you feel like there's a little tension building in the game because Mikel Arteta is getting wound up. Jurgen Klopp's staying out of it at the moment. Yes, this it's heating up here yeah. at the Emirates. It's getting tetchy. Tackles are starting to fly in, and you can see the fans on their feet. Jesus battling with Gomez. Gomez wins the ball, knocks it out of play, throwing for Arsenal wide on the left. Glenn Murray, former Palace and Brighton striker with us here on Five Live BBC Sounds and the World Service this afternoon. On air with Five Live Sport through until 7 o'clock, then it's 6.06. Robbie Savage and Chris Sutton take the calls on 08 085 909 693. And this game, I'm sure, will feature prominently Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. Trent Alexander Arnold off at half time replaced by Joe Gomez Partey chests the ball down does really well to get that to Xhaka oh Xhaka on the volley nearly smashes it into the top corner goes fizzing past that post and that was magnificent A from Partey to get it to him but then Xhaka to tee himself up and hit the volley yes he does the hard bit he flicks it over the onrushing Matip and he drops kindly on that trusty left foot but he just sees his name in light and blasts it up oh. high over the bar it was almost Gascoigne S from Euro 96, wasn't it? A little flick over the defender's head, pick it up the other side and stick it away. He couldn't quite do the stick it away bit, went for full power, but great stuff from Xhaka. Partey's won it again for Arsenal, having a good game today. 2-2 against Liverpool, ball forward, Jesus chases. Half cleared by Matic, Gomez plays it to Van Dijk and Erdegaard's quickly on top of him. Van Dijk, cool as you like, plays it upfield to Thiago. Partey there again to block for Arsenal, he's everywhere, now playing a pass forward to Erdegaard, controlled it well flicks a little pass to his left to Xhaka Xhaka towards Jesus, edge of the Liverpool penalty area, is able to turn tries to find Xhaka, find Xhaka looking to get it back to Jesus now he looks to make room for the shot, can't quite do it comes out to Ben White, so many bodies in that Liverpool box, Saka down the line to White, White gets the cut back in there Thiago slides in to clear for Liverpool, but again the pressure is immediately going to come back on them from this Arsenal team free-flowing stuff it's 2-2 twice Arsenal have had the lead twice they've been pegged back here's Saka Saka's ball across the face of the Liverpool box intercepted by Henderson so back on the halfway line and the chant of Arsenal Arsenal rings around the Emirates Stadium again some brilliant intricate football there by the Arsenal front players interchangeable trying to find that last bit of space great ball forward from Gabriel if Martinelli can keep it in he certainly can gets there he's up against Gomez down by the byline right footed cross is blocked by Gomez the ball comes whistling back to Tomiyasu Tomiyasu immediately gives it back to the danger man Martinelli returns it to Tomiyasu curling cross comes in half headed nearly found Saka at the far post Saka gets it across goal hacked away off the line Shimikas is back now I think there's a handball in there wouldn't have counted even if it had potentially crossed the goal line. Michael Oliver pointing for a Liverpool free kick. I'd be amazed at this stage 2-2. I think it was handball on the back post by Saka and he lifted back in to the middle of the goal and it looks like Odegaard's going to score. But brilliant defending. He wasn't to know it was handball from Simikas, the Liverpool left back. Got um crucial Bakayo Saka question to ask you Glenn at some point during the second half but it has to be when there is a break in play we cannot take our eyes off this for a second Liverpool thinking about another change having already made two in the game but Salah's got the ball at his feet Salah in his light blue boots right in front of us Tommy Yasser's had a good game against him wins the tackle goes out for a Liverpool throw yes he has and I think from a Liverpool perspective they haven't seen enough of Mo Salah this afternoon. You'd want to see more of him creating chances, having shots. But so far, Tommy Yasu is definitely winning that battle. But it only takes a second for the Egyptian. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. 25 minutes plus, a fair bit of added time to be played. Saka coming forward for Arsenal. Chased by Thiago. Gets away from Thiago. Ben White is there on his right. Liverpool desperately trying to get back in numbers pass came back from Ben White and Liverpool now are behind the ball and able to defend so Arsenal come out and go again wide on the left and as I'm watching this Arsenal team 
in transition, going backwards, going forwards. Mikel Arteta is doing doggies up and down his technical area as if he's one of them. Yeah. Con- <laughs> he's Conte. living every moment of it. Conte was doing that yesterday with uh, with Tottenham as well, because I know you were there at the uh, the Amex Stadium watching that one. Yeah, you? so he was just standing still kicking thin air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kicking imaginary opponents. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. 25 minutes to go in this thrilling game. Arsenal have the ball, and it's Saliba who brings it forward, right-footed pacey pass forwards Aka flicks it back into Erdegaard couldn't control it now it's Liverpool's turn to threaten Jota speeding away down the left pass not a good one Salah's frustrated sticks out a leg can't control it Arsenal throw Jurgen Klopp applauds the idea and even though Liverpool haven't been free falling this afternoon we've seen glimpses of it haven't we a couple of goals a couple of opportunities and when they do counter they do look dangerous Arsenal then building from the back with Gabriel play to Thomas Partey Firmino stretches out a leg to try and stop it Partey plays it to Saliba great atmosphere inside the stadium as well as you'd expect Harvey Elliott's been warming up Ibrahima Kanate has been warming up for Liverpool as well Gabriel plays across to Saliba the 21 year old Frenchman drives it forward with his right foot. Saka can't quite keep it in play. Goes out for a Liverpool throw in the left back position. Number to dial for 606 tonight. Same as ever. 08085 909 693. And come the end of the football today, all the talking points, all the interviews, the reaction, the debates, it'll all be there for you in the Football Daily podcast much later tonight on the BBC Sounds app or first thing tomorrow morning. So get yourself on the BBC Sounds app and get yourself subscribed to the Football Daily. And it looks like Liverpool are going to make another defensive change, yeah. Ali, as we see Canate getting changed on the bench there. He's stripped and he's ready to go, the number five. Throw into Arsenal, controlled by Jesus, played out to Saka, wide on the right. Ball quickly across to Tommy Yasu. It's going to be a double change. Fabinho and Canate coming on for Liverpool. So that'll be four of their five changes made. We're still a quarter of the game to go. Tommy Yasu across here to Saliba. Ben White plays back to Gabriel, who stood on the centre spot in the middle of the Emirates Stadium. Floated ball out towards Saka, teases Shimakas, bounces away from him. Saka able to bring it down on his right thigh and then slowly sort of jogs towards Shimakas with the ball at his feet. Forced away from goal. Thiago's there helping, doing the defending. Arsenal come back into midfield. Partey, central position, 40 yards from the Liverpool goal across to Tommy Yasu. Lovely from Tommy Yasu, outside of the right foot. Xhaka, round the corner to Martinelli. Danger again from Arsenal. Cross blocked by Gomez, corner to Arsenal. And even though Martinelli gets out on the outside of Joe Gomez, it's really good defending by the Liverpool right back. He gets back in, covers himself and concedes. Oh no it isn't, no, I thought it was going to be a corner but he must have bounced back off Martinelli and out for a goal kick as we see the two Liverpool substitutions being made. OK, Matip comes off, Canate comes on, Mo Salah comes off, three quarters of the way through the game, you were saying it Glenn, I mean he's, he's shaking his head Mo Salah and I get why he's frustrated, it's a brilliant game and he wants to be involved, he doesn't really look at Jurgen Klopp but he does give him the high five, it has not been his afternoon. Salah uh, is off, Fabinho is on. Goal kick for Liverpool. It's Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. Kicking off at 7 o'clock tonight is Everton, Manchester United. When we get our next break in play, Lee Blakeman will bring us the team news for that one. Reports on that game from Lee uh, throughout 6.06 and 5 Live's coverage this evening. Darwin chasing the ball down the left-hand side. Has the beating of Saliba to get there. Holds off Saliba and does well to find Jota. Tries to get it back to Darwin. Partey again there to break things up for Arsenal. Lovely feet from Saka. Saka gets White away down the right. For Fabinho, first thing he does is make a rather ungainly challenge on Ben White. Then he kicks the ball away. Arsenal get the free kick. Let's get the team news from Lee Blakeman. Hello Ali, Everton make one change from the team that started last Saturday's win at Southampton. Anthony Gordon comes in for Dwight McNeil who drops to the bench. United make three changes from Thursday's win at Timonia Nicosia. Shaw, Martial and Rashford replace Malassia, Sancho and Ronaldo. Thank you Lee. So kicks off at 7 o'clock this evening. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. Throw in for Liverpool on the right to be taken by Joe Gomez and so much 
to be talked about and debated after this game at, at the end of this evening. And we don't think the goals are over just yet. Gomez is trying to steal yards. Mikel Arteta feels the throw in should actually be five or six yards back. And Michael Oliver has now been sort of persuaded and given a yellow card to Joe Gomez. Is it to Gomez? I think it's to Gomez. And Mikel Arteta is going mad at the fourth official. And Klopp's creeping towards yeah. him. They're not happy with each other, but Michael Oliver did seem to be influenced by Mikel Arteta yeah. there, his, his, his actions on the sideline. And that, and yeah, now look, Jurgen Klopp is coming over and saying what on earth is going on. He's complaining to the fourth official, Andy Madley, because he clearly feels that Mikel Arteta has got Joe Gomez booked. So, manager's not the best of friends. They're two teams duking it out. Great game, Arsenal 2. Liverpool 2, Arsenal win the ball deep inside their own half, Saka puts everything into a right-footed pass across to Tomiyasu, forward to Jesus, Jesus plays it back to Tomiyasu, Henderson senses a chance to get onto that loose ball, Gabriel is a, a cross for Arsenal to deal with it, plays it back to Aaron Ramsdale, Ramsdale plays it out to his right-hand side, and Saliba forward to Partey. The ball was just rolled into party there, and I can't help but feel he's, he's been brilliant both yes. directions this afternoon. Arsenal sweeping forward, Erdegaard almost caught on the edge of the box. Can he find the pass through? Yes, he can. Martinelli looking for this right-footed curler inside the area. Too many white shirts in the way. He turns away, plays it to Xhaka. Xhaka with power across the box. Oh, it's nearly an own goal from Canate. He got a block on it. He had a couple of bodies in there, and then Alisson picks up the bouncing ball. As that ball arrives at Gabriel Martinelli's feet, he has a second, I think a second too long because he decides to cut back into traffic and the chance just seems to disappear. Xhaka gets the ball, he tries to put it in that corridor and do you know what, it's a fantastic block by Conte. Yeah, very nearly a miscontrol at the other end from Gabriel and Darwin was breathing right down his neck. Arsenal now getting ready to make a, a change of their own. Is that Vieira coming on? Yes, it is, and it's just blow for blow by the managers. They're both playing their cards. They're both very animated on the touchline. They're both very involved in this fixture. Yeah, that Vieira chant is soon going to be ringing around the Emirates Stadium. They've got their Saliba song as well. They'll have one for this man. Martinelli feeds Xhaka. Xhaka with the cutback into the penalty area. Thiago's there to intercept. Falls to Saka, though. Saka with a little bit of skill. Right-footed shot, tries to get it through the body. Jesus hits one. Alisson blocks it. The ball's still loose in the Liverpool box, comes out to Martinelli, drives it with his right foot, ball bounces back to him, then plays one with his left foot to Jack. another cross comes in, loose again on the edge of the six-yard box, and Liverpool hammer it away, it's a penalty, it's a penalty for Arsenal, I think it's Jesus, I think it's Jesus who's down in the box. Yes, I think it's Thiago, I can see with his hands on his head, and I can't make head and tail of that, of that piece of passage of play, because it was so much going on. Zaka lifts the ball into the middle. Oh, that's soft for oh. me, Ali. That is very soft for me. Let's Jesus, describe it. Jesus goes to control his right foot. Thiago kicks it with his left foot. And it's a coming together at best. Right, there's, uh, it's, it's kicking off now. Xhaka and Henderson eyeball to eyeball. Darwin Nunez is dragging Xhaka back. It really has boiled over inside the penalty area. VAR will be looking at the decision as well. Jurgen Klopp trying to hold himself back on the halfway line. Players now being separated. Arsenal 2, Liverpool 2. Bedlam at the moment. It is absolute. I don't know which direction to look in, Ali, because while all that's going on, Aaron Ramsdale's made his way to the halfway line in front of the dugouts and he's having a go at Jurgen Klopp. Oh, They're yeah. having a discussion now, I mean. They've made up now. They have made up, yes. And Laughing and joking. Right, so... At the moment, Arsenal have a penalty. VAR will be having a look. Glenn described it quite perfectly. The cross came in from the left. Jesus, it's behind him, and he's stretching to control it. And Thiago, they're both going for the same ball. So their feet are both dangling. Jesus' foot touches the ball. Thiago's foot touches Jesus. He goes down. And at the moment, that's why we've got an Arsenal penalty on the way. They're going to try and take the lead for the third time in the game. Michael, Michael Oliver marching towards the penalty spot, still surrounded by and Liverpool and Arsenal you know, I'm just I'm just running back that Xhaka and Henderson come together and Nunes does Xhaka a massive favour because he holds him back from Henderson because they are going at each other there. Right, Michael Oliver standing on the penalty spot, I can't see a ball, Alisson's waiting for the penalty, but Kyle Saka has the ball in his hands. Penalty for Arsenal, 15 minutes to play, what a moment for 21-year-old Bukayo 
Saka, who's already scored in this game. Arsenal fans on their feet. Some of them can't bear to watch. Arsenal have been ahead twice in the game. Michael Oliver's finally cleared the penalty area. Tension all around the Emirates Stadium. You can see one fan with his hands clasped around the back of his neck. The whistle blows, Alisson waits. Saka replaces the ball, takes two deliberate steps backwards, and he looks Alisson square in the eyes. Pauses again, Alisson is waving his arms around as he waits on the goal line. Saka jogs on the spot with his left foot, brilliant penalty! Sticks it away, Arsenal back in front. They lead by three goals to two. Alisson went the right way, he couldn't get there. And the Arsenal fans around us going absolutely berserk. And this game has delivered on all levels. Bayako Saka standing over the ball, cool, calm, composed. You would think he'd been in that position before, Ali. <laughs> what a fantastic penalty by, that young, by the young man. The pressure of the Emirates was firmly on his shoulders, but he stood there, he stood strong, and he rolled that ball into the right-hand side of Alisson's net to make it 3-2 to the Arsenal. It's a great point you make, Glenn. I've seen him take them for Arsenal before, but I know you're referring to the missed penalty for England. In the, yes. the, char the character he's shown to take big penalties, none bigger than that, and that was a fabulous penalty. Fabulous penalty from Saka. But that just shows me from the England miss, yep. he's learned and he's grown as a person yep. and as a player. What a fantastic penalty that was because there was a lot of pressure on his shoulders there and he had to wait how long? Three, four minutes yep. to take that penalty? It's going to be up for a grandstand finish because there's going to be a lot of added time. Right, Arsenal led 1-0, pegged back to 1-1. They scored just before half-time, they were 2-1 in front, pegged back to 2-2 early in the second half. Now they lead 3-2, 14 minutes to play, plus a bucket load of added time, and Jesus goes flying into a challenge on Fabinho, and Liverpool get themselves a free kick. We knew this was going to be good, but it really has delivered so far. And can Liverpool find themselves a third equaliser? There was a League Cup tie, wasn't there, too long ago that finished 5-5 with a couple of young teams that were playing in the competition that night. But they very rarely failed to deliver. And I tell you what, Liverpool could be away down the left with Shimikas. Loads of white shirts in the middle. What a cross that is. Tommy Yasu has to deal with it, heads it behind. Liverpool immediately back on the attack. They won a corner. And do you know what? Both managers, regardless of who wins this game, will be absolutely delighted with their players' reactions to going behind or coming level in this game. Both sets of players have played this game with the right attitude. Debates, of course, at the end of the game about penalties given and not given. That one on Jesus, the one for handball. Uh, in the first half, that didn't go Liverpool's way. Corner for Liverpool now. Whipped in from the right, headed away to the edge of the box. Martinelli chases his own header. Henderson had the head start, gets there first. He must have been concerned for a second there. Gomez plays a rather nervy pass to Thiago. Thiago deals with it and plays it back to Alisson. 13 minutes to play. Five live, BBC Sounds and the BBC World Service. Arsenal three, Liverpool two. It stands, let's not forget this, Arsenal going back above Manchester City and everyone raving about them this season and how they're going to cruise to the title. They'll go back above them, they'll go top of the table. The only thing I wish, Ali, is that there was longer left. I know, I know, yeah. If it goes 3-3, should we put in a petition for extra time? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people would sign it. 6.06 on the way later this evening. Darwin Nunez on the ball for Liverpool inside the Arsenal box. Takes on Gabriel. Cross comes in. Ramsdale got a hand to it. And Jesus is back there doing the defending. Clears the ball out for a throw. Firmino had just run beyond the cross and couldn't get the finish on it. No, but that just sums up Arsenal at the moment, doesn't it? From front to back, defending. And it's Gabriel Jesus, the fourth person back. Thiago, across to Van Dijk. Deep inside the Arsenal half, Arsenal have every outfield player behind the ball and Liverpool getting ready to make their final change, final roll of the dice. And we see Liverpool 3-2 down here at the Emirates and their most creative players in Trent Alexander-Arnold and Salah are both off the field. Yeah, Harvey Elliott getting ready to come on though, another incredibly talented young footballer. Henderson plays a 1-2 with Firmino, Fabinho. Strokes a pass forward to Firmino in the inside right channel. Henderson supports him. They play a 1-2. Firmino, cross into the far post. Headed away by Saliba. Arsenal have had this lead now three times in the game. Twice they've been pegged back. Can they see it out? Fabinho turns. 
runs away from Martinelli, plays it back to Thiago, 40 yards from the Arsenal goal, into the feet of Henderson, who immediately gives it straight back to Thiago. Tries to loft it over the top of the Arsenal back four. Optimistic pass, he's a fabulous pass of the ball. That one doesn't come off. Firmino couldn't control it, and behind it goes for the goal kick. Ten minutes to play. I think there's going to be at least four or five minutes added time. Arsenal three, Liverpool two. Yes, I, I, I tend to agree, Ali, because not only did we have the penalty incident and that took so long to sort out, we also had Jesus down when he, when he got elbowed, yes. so there's going to be quite a lot of added time here. Jota off and Harvey Elliott comes on for Liverpool. He's 19 years old, the £1.5 million summer signing from Fulham. Michael Oliver says, come on, Arsenal, we've got to get on with this. Goal kick for them. Ramsdale sends the centre-backs away. He's going to give it the big heave-ho launches it and actually disappears from view for a second Jesus goes tumbling backwards Canate with the challenge Arsenal fans up in arms around us they want the free kick balls played forward Firmino heads it in field Partey is able to intercept takes it away from Henderson tripped by Fabinho play again is allowed to go and Ramsdale clears first time from the edge of his own box Kieran Tierney getting ready to come on for Arsenal, loose ball inside the middle of the Arsenal half, Saliba clears, happy just to get rid of that and put it forward into Liverpool territory, Fabinho, lofted pass to the left, Darwin can't quite control it, should come back to Ramsdale, Michael Oliver spotted an infringement, free kick for Arsenal, right, very quickly, got to do this very quickly then, your Bakayo Saka question, part of fact of the day, you know the old fact of the day we do on drive time, I've asked you these questions before, has 10 things that he can't live without. One of them is a chocolate bar that he has to have before every single game he plays. I was asked, would that be a Crunchy, would that be a Twix, or would that be a Freddo? A little, you know, kid's Fred Fred Freddo. That's what I said. It's wrong. Is it? Oh, it's crunchy. You see, I Twix. A Twix, I know. I thought for a sort of player player. That's an old man's exactly chocolate player. Player. Is it? No. You and I are on the same <laughs> wavelength. So... Tony Livesey, Claire McDonald caught me out with that one. That's your fact of the day. We managed to squeeze it into an absolutely fabulous game of football. Martin Hildegard comes off. Standing ovation for him. Kieran Tierney comes on. Eight minutes of the 90 left and Arsenal are leading Liverpool 3-2. And just as we tick into the last segment of this game, this, this is where players are tired, they're fatigued, mistakes creeping. And I just wonder, can this inexperienced Arsenal side keep this Liverpool side at bay? The other question, of course, we mentioned it at the start of the uh, the game is if Arsenal do go on to win this and get a rare win over Liverpool in recent years what is going to be the greatest Arsenal performance of the weekend will it be this one here will it be Tony Adams on Strictly uh, <laughs> last night <laughs> is there any question did you see it yeah I I'm seeing this one <laughs> <laughs> well, of course you are I was being sensational but it was honestly he was he was sensational as he used to be for Arsenal as well and he he's here today he'll be absolutely loving this game not over yet Gabriel Side foot's a pass back to Aaron Ramsdale. Take a breath, everyone. The game's going to slow down for a second. Not for long. Ramsdale launches a long one down the middle of the field. Canate heads it away. Thiago flicks it on. Firmino chests it down and then glides a pass to his left. Shimikas is able to bring this forward and get his head up. Harvey Elliott gets an early touch. Shimikas then crosses that ball in. Partey there yet again for Arsenal to head it away. Jesus blocks the Thiago pass. Look at the energy still in Jesus and away he goes. And Van Dijk's doing that thing. He's just standing off and saying, can you beat me? Jesus says no. So he floats the diagonal over to Tierney. Tierney lets the ball bounce a couple of times in front of him. Can Arsenal find a fourth goal? to try and kill Liverpool off. Partey's curling ball towards Jesus. Chests it down. The angle looks very tight there. Shimikas behind him. Plays it to Saka. Saka's on the hat-trick, of course. Saka to White. To Saka again. And Saka very steadily just plays the ball back to Saliba. Arsenal are saying to Liverpool, you're going to have to come and get it. And if you do, spaces open up. And we're going to try and punish you. Xhaka, wide on the left-hand side for Arsenal. North London derby win last week. Can they make it a follow-up win over Liverpool? Saliba. Diagonal ball controlled by Saka. Harvey Elliott comes back to try and make a challenge. 
And Arsenal just, just keeping it at the moment, Glenn, just knocking it around. Yes, I can't help but feel this little lull in play at the moment we're seeing. He's going to set us up for a grandstand finish. Yeah, I get that same feeling. Here's Tierney inside the Liverpool half. Henderson thinks about a challenge, decides better against it. Tierney does well. Tommy Yasu looking for the run of Jesus. Van Dijk has it covered, although does he? Ball travels over his head, bounces into the arms of Alisson. Alisson immediately gives it to Thiago. Five minutes of the 90 remaining, Thiago digs one out, looking for the run of Darwin, the service of Darwin, second half, they've not found him. Very unlike Thiago, we've seen two long passes and both have been mistimed, misjudged, unlike the Liverpool maestro. Football schedule is absolutely relentless, as we know, and there are tired legs uh, out there. European football on the way again this week. Five live commentaries. AC Milan against Chelsea on Tuesday. We'll be at Ibrox on Wednesday for Rangers Liverpool. Crossing to the Liverpool box. Gomez tries to deal with it. Glancing header. Tried to nod it behind for a corner. Didn't get enough on it. So Martinelli has it wide on the left. Arsenal again just happy to keep it at the moment. Jack has made a clever run into space and collects the ball down by the corner flag on the left hand side. They're toying with Liverpool at the moment. Liverpool have it in them, we've seen it already, got themselves back from 1-0 down and 2-1 down, trailing 3-2 at the moment and waiting to get the ball back, they get it now, Canate tries to find Firmino, Tomiyasu intercepts, Parte just inside the Liverpool half, plays it to his left, Xhaka comes back to Gabriel, time is running out for Liverpool, 18 games Jurgen Klopp has had against Arsenal in his time as Liverpool manager, he has lost a couple on penalties but in terms of being beaten over 90 minutes or 120 minutes, it has only ever happened once before to him, long ball forward, Jesus chases, Shimikas volleys it away, Xhaka stretches, makes the foul on Thiago, free kick for Liverpool. Just after that challenge there, Thiago and Xhaka shake hands and it just shows the spirit that this game's been played in, doesn't it, Ali? Yeah, we had, we had the flashpoint. We've had a couple of flashpoints, but actually, and the managers have, you know, they're, they're kept well apart on the sidelines here at the Emirates Stadium. But there's Unfortunately. Been... <laughs> <laughs> Gomez and the press from Martinelli, but they've managed to keep a lid on it and it has been a truly wonderful game of football. Don't miss it on Match of the Day 2 tonight. Half past 10, BBC One. Palace 2, Leeds 1, West Ham 3, Fulham 1 and Everton Manchester United kicks off at 7 o'clock updates on that in the 6.06 this evening I can't help but feel this Liverpool forward line now apart from Nunes, if you don't find Nunes it hasn't got the speed to get in behind Firmino, Harvey Elliott they've taken the main threats in behind off yeah, haven't they, yeah. Diaz and Salah Diaz had to go off injury first half Salah came off midway through the second half Tierney lobs the ball forward I know, I know, I know it's busy and I know it's difficult to get away. Fans are leaving this. I, I can't believe I that. I can't believe it. I just couldn't do that. <laughs> I was that. just thinking that as I you know. walked past me there. It's incredible. I know it will make a massive difference to the journey time. I imagine it will, but still, what a game. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2, brilliant from Harvey Elliott, outside of the left foot, skids the ball across to Gomez, Gomez gets his head down, makes 10 yards down the right hand side, back to Elliott, Elliott faced up by Xhaka, 5 yards short of the box, little 1-2 with Firmino, Arsenal need to concentrate here, to continue to hold their lead, ball is with Fabinho, wide to Gomez, Gomez is crossed, takes a deflection off Martinelli, Firmino wins the flick on, Darwin jumps to try and control it, Elliot goes down inside the box, Tierney holds his hands up, Henderson gets a cross in, ball still loose in the Arsenal box, up in the air it goes, Darwin jumps, Tommy Yasu clears, throwing for Liverpool on the right, now are Liverpool going to take that straight away or are they no, going to wait? No, Michael has held his hand up and for me in real time that's yeah. a penalty. Really? Oh. oh! In real time I've just seen it. Uh, uh, or does Elliot initiate the contact I think by putting his right foot on Tierney? Seeing a replay, I think he might try and initiate that contact. No but, penalty. Yes, and, and Michael Old has, has gone with that. I think I think he was right seeing a replay, but in real time, it just shows how hard the referee's job is, doesn't yeah. it? Gomez is throw into that Arsenal penalty here. Tommy Yassi wins the first header. Darwin jumps. Chance for Saka to clear. He does that with his right foot. 89th minute of the game. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2, Eddie and Ketia waiting to come on for Arsenal, Mikel Arteta giving him detailed instructions, Arsenal having to defend. Going back to the top of the Premier League table tonight with a win, they'll go a point ahead of Manchester City. Van Dijk plays the ball out to the left-hand side, I think I'm right in saying it's City-Liverpool next week as well, isn't it? Ball into the edge of the Arsenal box, Xhaka clears with his right foot. 
anywhere will do for Arsenal at the moment. Thiago towards Firmino. Firmino to Henderson. Henderson chips it up in the air. Saliba, cool as you like, heads it back to Ramsdale, who slides forward on his knees and will take a good 10 seconds or so to get rid of this ball. Yes, and as that ball gets in the safety of Aaron Ramsdale's hands, the cheer from the Arsenal faithful is loud because they know they are edging towards a huge victory here at the Emirates. Ramsdale clears with his right foot. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2. Van Dijk wants to let that go all the way. Alisson came late. Jesus is in there and he's headed it wide and it's gone behind. Now Michael Oliver saying corner so Jesus didn't get the last touch. That was almost calamitous for Liverpool. Van Dijk waiting for Alisson to come. He didn't. Jesus got in between them. He's down. Could there even be a penalty shout? I wonder. Jesus in the box. It hits Van Dijk in the face and goes behind for a corner. Five minutes of added time to be played. He gets sandwiched there, Jesus. And uh, is that a penalty? Well, they'll look. I mean, Alisson comes out and completely body checks him. And as he's down on the floor... Virgil van Dijk's trying to drag him to his feet by his arm. He's not happy with Jesus, but he did get a ride out there, the young Brazilian. I was absolutely right, of course. Liverpool, Manchester City is our commentary at this time next week. Half past four at Anfield. We've also got Leeds Arsenal at two o'clock next week. So more Arsenal in action in full on five live for you. So, VAR having a look. Arsenal making a change. Gabriel Jesus has not been on the score sheet. He has been in the wars. He won the crucial penalty. He's been a right hand for what, what a signing, Glenn Murray, he's been for Arsenal. Well, like I say, behind Erling Haaland, he's been the signing of the summer for me and he's rejuvenated this Arsenal squad and we can just see how much this Arsenal faithful love him because he gets a standing ovation as he walks off. He's not scored, but he's wore his heart on his sleeve and he's given everything for this club. Arsenal 3, Liverpool 2. Uh, we played one minute of added time, four minutes remaining. There's still a discussion in, in the box. I mean, I, I... That is literally what it is. It's just a standing discussion at the moment. Everyone's around, Michael Oliver. They're waiting an yeah. awful long time to make this decision. And that, for me... He, he gave a corner because the ball hit Van Dijk in the face. But at the moment, Martinelli's got the ball in the box. And I think Michael Oliver... There's a lot of bad feeling out there, isn't there? Yeah, he's waiting. Is he being sent to the monitor? Yeah, he's coming over. Michael Oliver's being sent to the monitor to see whether this should be a penalty. Or is he I... going to Klopp? Oh, hang on, he's Klopp he's and Arteta. He's going to the managers. He's calling Klopp and Arteta together, so it's not a VAR decision. He's talking to both managers at the moment. They're in a huddle right on the halfway line. Jurgen Klopp is sort of straining to hear. A, spi uh, a spicy Spaniard and a strong German. Who are you okay. taking, Ali? Well, Klopp's the taller, isn't he? He's got, he's got the bigger, the bigger yeah. reach, hasn't he? Yeah, I'm trying to think of the alliteration as well. But Arteta can get inside, can't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Michael Oliver's had a word. Now, he's had a word to both managers and explained... <laughs> well, I don't know what. I'd only be guessing. He's chatting to Andy Madley, the fourth official, and talking through what's happened. Now he's coming back onto the field. It is going to be a corner for us, I presume... Martinelli's taken the ball over there. That's wasted another couple of minutes. And we're OK again. So that's, that's definitely something post-match to try and find out, is what that conversation was about. Whether it's just trying to calm both sets of the players down or talk through the decision that was just made. I, I don't know. Normally that would come after the game if it was the decision that's just been made. Arsenal have taken the corner short and they've lost it. Elliot's ball forward with his right foot. And all that sort of rhythm and pace and tension and anxiety in the game has, has just deflated for a moment but it's coming right back two minutes of added time remaining but there'll be more than that and Arsenal leading Liverpool by three goals to two five live score on air through until seven o'clock and Chris Sutton and Robbie Savage taking the calls on 606 08 085 909 693 to have your say Simicast fouled by Ben White free kick for Liverpool Vieira, he never came on, did he? <laughs> He's been stood there stripped for 15 minutes. I've just realised yeah, that. Like. Bukayo Saka won't get a hat-trick. He's coming off. That'll kill a bit more time, a bit more momentum. Arsenal have a free kick to defend. But it's a free kick coming at them from deep because it's inside the Liverpool half. Two goals for Bukayo Saka. He got Arsenal 2-1 in front, sliding in at the far post late in the first half. But the crucial one from the penalty spot, holding his nerve to take a fabulous penalty and possibly give Arsenal a rare win over Liverpool to put them back on the top of the Premier League table. Not over as yet. Canate, Canate's going to make a run from the right and he's starting like a sprinter here. Thiago's looking for him, the ball's not got enough on it. Gabriel 
heads it away. Jurgen Klopp looks at Thiago and says, what on earth was that? Martinelli plays it back to Tierney. Tierney with the outside of his left foot to Ramsdale. Ramsdale hurriedly clears with his right foot, goes diagonally away to the right-hand side. Vieira lets the ball travel over his head and it goes out for a throw-in to Liverpool. The other conversation to be had on 6.06 tonight with the Arsenal fans. Title challenge, question mark. Everyone's already given it to City. Can Arsenal keep it going all the way through the season? Is that a question? Yeah. <laughs> I'm chucking it out there, Glenn. Allison plays a long ball forward with his right foot. Saliba heads it away. Ben White smashes it with his right foot, clears it down the touchline, out for a throw. Right, my stopwatch says we've now played the five minutes of added time. So anything from now on is what's been incurred extra in the added time we've been playing. 3-2 to Arsenal. Everyone's living this moment in Arsenal, aren't they? It, the, the stadium's like the bottle of champagne being shaken and it's waiting to blow. And I tell you, you're going to hear some noise when that full-time whistle blows if Arsenal still have the lead. They can't switch off. Played five minutes of added time. Darwin battling for a ball. Wins are throwing for Liverpool. They're trying to steal yards down the left-hand side. Liverpool, just the two wins so far this season. It'll be eight Premier League games played and just the two wins to show for it. Shimikas stretches, plays it to Thiago, back from Fabinho. Arsenal in with the challenges quickly. Partey gets a foot in, it goes out for a throw into Arsenal on the right. We've now played 30 seconds over the five minutes. Mikel Arteta still unhappy about something else. Andy Madley just trying to shepherd him back into his technical area. The interesting to see the handshake actually at the end of the game between Mikel Arteta and Jurgen Klopp. Arteta is very, very heated up about something. Let's keep an eye on the football though. Throw in for Arsenal. Inside their own half, down the right-hand side from Ben White. Shimikas heads it away. Xhaka is underneath it to head it back into the Liverpool half. Shimikas tried to chest it down. He's given the ball away. Arsenal come. Martinelli collects on the edge of the Liverpool penalty area. And Ketia made a run. But Martinelli has held on to it. Canate's fouled him. Canate's fouled him. Arsenal have won a free kick in an attacking position. They've got a chance to score another goal. And they've got the ball down the Liverpool end. I think they're going to do it, Glenn. Yes, I think they are. And we see Mikel Arteta shaking hands with the fourth official there. I think he feels as though his side are finally over the line here. And I'm interested to see, well, I actually know from the way they've set up, no one is in the Liverpool 18-yard box. They're just going to hold the ball in the corner here and try and see time out. Yeah, free kick's going to be taken short. Arsenal have it over on that right-hand side and Ketia goes dribbling down to the corner flag. Teammates sticking with him. Ball goes out for a Liverpool throw. We've already played two minutes additional beyond the five minutes added time. Arsenal fans desperate for the whistle. Throw in taken by Liverpool across to Alisson. Clears it on the half volley. Gives it everything. Out to the left it goes. Firmino nods the ball down to Harvey Elliott. Lobs one forward. Saliba has it covered. Ben White tries to flick a header away. Firmino plays the ball to Darwin. Gabriel is there. Clears with his left foot. Overhead kick from Nketiah. And I thought he was about to blow the full-time whistle. But Michael Oliver says keep going. Allison. Now we've seen him score late goals for Liverpool. He's forward. He's across the halfway line. Long ball forward into the Arsenal box. Travels all the way through the box. Firmino controls it wide on the left. Fabio Vieira's with him. Firmino gets away. Curls the ball in. Headed away by Partey. Falls to Henderson. Hits the curler. A block on the shot. The ball's up in the air. Elliot hits one. Block again inside the Arsenal area. Gabriel stabs it away. Liverpool, only a second win against them in 14 Premier League games, they led 1-0, they led 2-1, they were pegged back twice and they've eventually beaten them by three goals to two in an absolute thriller, Glenn Murray. And you can hear the Arsenal faithful singing we are top of the league, this group of fans, they're starting to believe in this area of London. It's half past six in the capital and we have just witnessed a fantastic two hours of football. Well, have a listen to the atmosphere inside the Emirates Stadium. It tells you everything. And yes, we know there have only been nine games played this season, but we said beforehand that this was going to be a massive test for Mikel Arteta and his young team. And they have passed that test with flying colours. They're top of the Premier League. Glenn Murray, that had everything. Edge, tension, great football, 
end to end. That is one of the games of the season. Uh, do you know what, Steve? I, ju I just... It's a little, it's a little big thing, but I'm just thankful to be here today because that is how football should be played in my eyes. It's why we tune into the Premier League. It's a fantastic advert for it. I mean, it was quality, energy, passion, and we had a hundred minutes of pure sporting entertainment there, and that's why the world watch our league. Jurgen Klopp is currently in conversations with the referee. There was so much time added on Ali Bruce Ball. I thought Mikel Arteta was about to implode, but as a neutral, you just didn't want it to end. No, no, absolutely not, Steve. Honestly, it was it was a joy. Two teams that we knew were both going to go for it, and in a way, the game sort of played out as we as we thought it might. Arsenal have been in better form this season. They kept getting their noses in front, but Liverpool, we, we know it's in there. You know, the threat, the, the, the two goals they scored, two, two fabulous, just quick, like, rapier thrust to get back at Arsenal, which tested the resolve. Then came the penalty, that'll be long debated. I mean, there was that conversation, Steve, right at the end, where Michael Oliver called the two managers over. Yeah. You know, I still don't know what, what, what that was about. Like you say, it had absolutely everything, but we, we do know. I mean, Arsenal, whether they can last the pace or not, we'll have to wait and see, but... They, 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 have, they have got a very good team here, a very young team here, and the fans can see what Mikel Arteta is trying to do, and I think it's, I think it's very exciting for them.